And uh, oop. Ooh. And uh, oop. And uh, oop. <laughs> I made it. I made it. It's the whole damn show. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Shout out to everybody here. Shout out to everybody watching. Like this video in. Like this video, like this video, like this video right now, like this video on the way in. You already know how we do. It's the official King Pain Show. Yeah, so. Oh, oh, it's like it. Oh, it's the home of the lituation. Yeah, so. it's the littlest place on earth. Where a dusty bitch could always never, never, never. <laughs> Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. We have new developments, okay, surrounding the Diddy case, okay, on period. And, you know, the fans said, you know, they're not even investigating Diddy, okay? They just raided his home, okay? Put his kids in handcuffs, went, took all kind of electronic devices and things from his home, okay? They got Cassie cooperating with the feds. We got Lil Rod cooperating with the feds, but allegedly, you know, Diddy's not under investigation. But they watching him. They watching him. That's what they said we're. He's free to leave the country. He's free to uh, 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 go abroad. Okay, on period. As long as he don't bring none of them broads back. That's what they said. That's what they said. Leave it to the official King Payne to bring some clarity to a dusty situation because it's a whole lot of dusty shit going on. Gathering close. Gathering close when, okay, on period. Oh. Diddy's son, King, has been named in a new lawsuit, okay? A new lawsuit. Keyword, new, okay, on period. Yes, the official campaign has all of the receipts. There's a new woman alleging that Christian drugged her and sexually assaulted her. When, yes, it did. She said that, you know, they're part of this whole sex trafficking thing, okay, on period. Contrary to the mother, Misa Hilton's, thoughts okay on period you know she recently uh, uh spoke out via instagram she said her son is innocent uh, let's talk about it let's talk about it when okay on period oh according to this new accuser okay on period the combs okay on period they're not that innocent Okay, on period. They're not that innocent. You know how black mothers is. You know how black mothers is. Okay, all mothers. Okay. Everybody think they babies. Oh, 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 oh. Could never. Could never. She said, what you think they over there doing? Okay, you know, because apparently Justin doesn't come around that often these days. Diddy over there spoiling the boys. What you think, Diddy? Showed them boys. Okay, on period. What do you think Diddy has exposed the boys to? What you think Diddy over there teaching the boys? My, my, my. Justin Cohn's mother, Misa Hilton, says that he's innocent. He's innocent when you got the wrong one. Okay, on period. How come Diddy has not been in handcuffs? You know, they out here partying. Okay, living their best life. Living their best life with okay, on period. Diddy, Justin. Justin just had a, a big old wild party out here in L.A. Yes, he did. 
Yes, he did. We had okay on period. And then uh 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 Diddy is making his rounds. Okay, on period. He's hanging out with Stevie J and others. We in okay on period. Everybody uh, 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 can only imagine what's going on over there. What kind of freak offs, what kind of freaky shit them girls are getting into when yes, he did. Diddy is outside when and, and, and uh, apparently unbothered, okay, as he is spotted all smiles outside with his besties. My, my, my. My, my, my. He got the girls ready to fight. Okay, Stevie J uh, recently called out 50. My, my, my. You know, word on the street is they trying to, oh, 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 oh. Replace Diddy with 50. They're trying to replace Diddy with 50. My, my, my. My, my, my. You know, the whole Diageo, Ciroc, uh, uh campaign and how they didn't want to use Diddy's likeness. They said Diddy is not a good or oh, 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 look. They said 50. That's the better look. Is it that's the better look with okay? I'm here. Word on the street is the girls are trying to replace Diddy with 50. Okay, I'm here. Leave it to the official campaign to bring some clarity to a dusty situation. I got all the receipts. I got all the receipts. Okay, I'm here. You will want to stay tuned. You will want to stay tuned. All that and more directly after these commercial breaks. Okay, I'm here. Remember to like this video. Like this video. Like this video. Gathering closest up and it's stuck after these commercial breaks. Let's go. My mom said I need you to sell my hair, otherwise I gotta get it all cut off. We booked the appointment at Style Kings at the barbershop. Let's go. Do you want fabulous hair? Are you looking for a product strong enough to tame your 4C hair? Hey, Mom! Hey, Mom, you don't have no more leave-in conditioner? Give me that. I know you did not use my Style King leave-in conditioner. Are you looking to knock the dust off them dreads? For a product that will rejuvenate and strengthen your hair? increase hair growth and shine and smells great, well then you're in the right place. For the long, beautiful, healthy hair you deserve, choose Style King. Perfect on all hair types. Available online at theofficialkingpain.net. Get you some style today. Oh, and your mom calls and she needs some more conditioner. <laughs> And uh, ooh. <laughs> and uh, ooh. guys, it is the home of the lituation, guys. The one and only dust free zone. A few disclaimers before we get started this video is not made for kids, no, it's not. Oh. And everything being shown to you guys during this video is being shown to you guys underneath the fair use and copyright doctrine. It's my motherfucking opinion. Make for receipts. Take it out. If you want to take it, just don't be a weird ass bitch. Okay, like Diddy and them. Okay, I'm here. Lock them all up. Lock them all up. That's what I think when, okay? Shake them up when, okay? Rattle the girls up when and get to the truth. Okay, I'm period. What are them girls that's going to squeak? Yeah, one of them girls is going to tell it all when, okay, I'm period. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Lock them all up. 
Lock them all up with, okay, uh, the way I see it, they all know about it when, okay, on period, uh, uh, been privy to it, experienced something, overheard some when, okay, on period, and allowed it to go on, okay, on period, because of the lifestyle. Yes, it did. You would have did it too. They was over there living comfortable. Okay, on period. Till Cassie. Then Jane Doe, one through 10. Shit, who knows? Lil Rod. You know, Lil Rod would have never came forward had Diddy gave him what he promised. Grammys, Smarties, his credit. Same thing with Cassie. Had he given Cassie what she asked for, had he followed through on his promises to Cassie, Cassie may have never filed that lawsuit either. Tell the truth. Everything was good at the Combs estate until Diddy stopped paying his holes. Let's talk about it. The Illuminati bills do. And this one's too big to cover up. There's no damage control in the world that could revive Diddy's career. No publicists, no narrative. Now the people have testimony, okay? testimony from victims who have come forward and filed lawsuits. You know, in the past, we've heard things. People have said things. But nobody got canceled. It's a new day. It's a new day. Okay, on period. And Diddy is going down. It's only a matter of time. I know the feds are saying that, you know, they're not going to arrest them. They're not going to arrest them when, okay, on period. But it's only a matter of time, okay? They got to go through the tapes, okay? They said they're going through the tapes one by one, okay? They're watching everything. Everything, okay, on period. What they are saying is that there are many celebrities and politicians in compromising positions on those tapes. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. So I wonder what's going to come of that, you know? It's very, very strange. It's very, very strange. Diddy has cameras in every room in his house. That's part of the reason that Misa was able to get a hold of the footage and, and put it out. Because Diddy got footage everywhere. He got cameras everywhere. Yes, it did. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. Like I said, we got a lot of things to get into, Crown Family. Right now, it's time for our Crown Family 
roll call. Let me see those crowns in the chat. Let me see those crowns in the chat. I know I've been off for a couple of days. I, I wanted to go live yesterday, um, and I did. I was on Unwind with Tasha K um, as the new host of Wine is the New Tea. Did you guys see me on Wine is the New Tea yesterday? Yeah, I went back home for the holiday, and I rushed back to my residence, okay, for the show, okay? So I was exhausted. I wanted to go live yesterday, but my body would not let me, okay, on period. Okay, on period. You guys know my thing about going live. I need to make sure that my energy is right, period. Period. So my energy wasn't right yesterday, so that's why we wasn't live. But we here today. We here today. When it's lit, lit. When you guys gather in close, we got a full day of content. When okay, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the receipt book. Okay, make sure your notifications are on. When we're gonna be live directly after this show on the receipt book. When okay, I'm here because we got some critters to pop. We got some dusty bitches girl to pop. Okay, on period. Uh 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 Jackie Ooh Swamisha Mokoshe Alize Jenkins Physique Oh uh, uh Tokyo My 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 Larry Mr. Dingleberry himself uh, uh just to name a few Okay on period road session after this live this up and it's stuck only on the receipt book because these girls is getting out of control okay on period it's time for me to pull out my big guns my big dusters win and, and, and let these girls know what's up only on the receipt book directly after the show. Hey, everybody. Yes. What a crown family at? What a crown family at? What a crown family at? Yes, I miss you too. I'm so happy to be back. It was a lot, you know, you know, we talked about it, okay, on period. But, you know, I, I, I recently experienced a loss, okay, on period. Okay, loss at the loss, we just... Lost someone else today. It's a, it's a lot going on. Okay, on period. But we all got things going on in our life. Yeah. We all got things going on. When, and, and sometimes it can be overwhelming. Just know that joy cometh in the morning. You got to just keep pushing through. Okay. Never allow yourself to be trapped in a storm. Okay. Always keep your eye on the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. The fact that you're still here living and breathing. Okay. That you woke up today able means that God still has purpose for your life. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. You guys gather in close. Gather in close. Gather in close. Gather in close. Okay. On period. Because... I prepared a, a little bit of a word today. Just a little bit. Don't run. Don't run. The Lord, he loves you. He loves you. Yes, he did. Girl, somebody going to run and grab her before she gets to the door. Girl. Somebody said that the official King Pain never thanks his audience for her donating, liking the video, sharing the video. And supporting the video. Now, granted, sometimes we do run out of here, and I do not have the opportunity to call everyone's name. Okay, we do three, four, five hour videos sometime, and then, you know, we have to get to the next video. Or, or you know, I have some, some you know, something going on in my personal life. You know, I have many businesses and, and uh, 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 things that, you know, I'm trying to run and get off the ground. So, um, but I always, okay, at the beginning of my videos and at the end of every video, acknowledge my supporters when, okay, on period. But what it was giving me is that this person wanted to be uh, uh, called by name Okay, and, you know, I do try to call, you know, the people who donate, 
by name. I do because you know we can't do it without your support. That's why you know um, I ask you guys to drop the trophy sometimes or whatever. You know it's very important. You know, and I, I try to make sure that I, I pay attention to the people that are supporting a, a little bit more so than you know everyone else. Not not to be you know rude or anything like that but this is a business so you know i do i do pay attention that's what i'm trying to say i do pay attention um but you know i'm not going to be able to call you by name every time and let me tell you what god said hold on a second let me tell you what god said about giving my 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 i didn't, I didn't know i was gonna have to do this when i didn't know we was gonna have to <laughs> Go there, win. Okay. Let me tell you what God says about giving. My, my, my. My, my, my. Hold on one second. One second for the girls in the bake. One second for the girls in the bake. Here we go, right here. Okay. Yes, I did. Yes. Uh, he said a lot of things. He said a lot of things when, yes, I did. Um, but I just want to highlight this right here. Each man should give what he has decided in his heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Okay. God is able to make all grace around you so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Okay, on period. So what that means is you should be giving from your heart because God loves a cheerful giver. God blesses those who gives from the heart and what giving from the heart looks like is giving without expecting when you give and you expect that blocks your blessings yes it is yes it is and, and besides you don't want no little shout out from me You don't want to, you want the shout out that God going to give you. You want the blessing that God is going to bestow upon you from giving from your heart. Like he instructed in his word. So again, Crown Family, remember to support your favorite content creators. Support all the content creators. Support the official King Pain. Okay, above all things. <laughs> okay, I'm here because we can't do it without your support. We can't. We can't do it without your support. YouTube is taking so much of our monies. Okay, on period. 45%. Okay, on period. Us content creators have gotten creative. Yes. Yes. And we ask that you guys support us, you know, via Cash App. Okay. I have my Cash App and my PayPal pin. Those are the preferred donation methods. We have it all, though. If you don't have that, we got Venmo, we got Zelle, we got Crypto, we got the money orders. We ain't about to get my P.O. box, a girl. You can send me a check, a girl. Like, however you want to do it, okay? Remember to support the situation. Speaking of support, we are looking for sponsors, okay, for the TV network, okay? If you are encouraged to sponsor in any type of way, the TV net, you have a business and you want to contribute, whatever it is that your business does, whatever, it's clothes, it's food, it's, you know, uh, transportation or what have you. We're going to need um, an array of things for the TV show that we are producing, The House of Pain, 
Okay. We're going to need monies to rent the location. Okay. The, the challenges and you know, the, the everything. So we are looking for contributors who want to be featured. Okay. On the network, you know, uh, uh, you know, have their brand, um, marketed via the network, you know, for their contributions, whether it be on the show in the credits on the website, um, we are looking for contributors. Okay, on Peoria. If that's you, please get in contact with me. Okay, via email, Instagram, Discord, however you want to do it. Oh, speaking of Discord, okay, on Peoria, I created a Discord, okay, for all of you guys. It's our group chat, okay? It's free. It's free. It don't cost you a motherfucking thing. Just like sharing this video don't cost you a thing. Liking this video don't cost you a thing. Commenting on this video don't cost you a thing. Becoming a, a part of the Crown Family don't cost you a thing. A lot of you guys don't know it, but once you hit that subscribe button, you family now. <laughs> yes, it did. Go on and jump in that group chat that I created for all of you and meet your family. Yay. So it's, it's, it's a really good family to be a part of. Ask somebody. Ask somebody when okay on period. We support one another. We support one another here in the home of the situation. We are a family like a giant tree. One big old messy family. Yes, it is. Oh, we can get messy too. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play. We can get messy too. Okay, on period. Ooh. Oh, who's ready to get into some things? Who's ready to get into some things? Okay, on period. Oh, what a crown family at? What a crown family at? What a crown family at? It's time for our crown family roll call. What y'all thought I forgot about y'all win? Y'all thought I forgot about y'all win? They say he just went right over the roll call. He just went right over the roll call. What a crown family at? What a crown family at? What a crown family at? Right now, it's time for you to represent your shit. Let me know where you're watching from, when, okay, on period. I want to see my people from all over in the chat right now, my international people, my nationals win, okay, on period. Where are my people from Atlanta, Texas, New York, L.A.? My international people, Africa, Europe, Austria, where you at? It's time to represent your shit. Drop some crowns in the chat. It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. Hey, crown family. <laughs> hey, crown family. I know that's right. Hey, Shay, what's going on? Chi Town in this bitch. I know that's right. Simply be in the building. Philly, Philly in the house. I know that's right. Miss Moon Magic in the building. Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yes, this is the interactive segment of your day. Like this video, like this video, like this video. Remember to support. Okay, we can't do it without your support. Quick. We're looking for the quickest Twitter fingers in the chat. Give us the number five through 25 win. Hold on. Okay. Only drop a number that you are willing to give yourself when, okay, on period. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, you you can't just be quick to uh, uh, point uh, point the girls out with. Okay, on period. We want you to be quick to support when. Okay, on period. Start this show off right with. Okay, on period. Y'all already know this gonna be lit. It's the first King Payne show, which you respect. Hey, Chandra. Yes, uh, we're looking for the quickest Twitter fingers. The quickest Twitter fingers in the chat. Yes. Uh. <laughs> It's up and it's stuck in the home of the situation. You better know it. Hey, Tina. Yes. Uh, T. Andrew, sweet T in the building. Yes. Uh, I had to prepare a little word. You know, here on period. I've been oh, 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 meditating lately and getting more into my word and, you know, looking for the correct ways to respond. You know, asking God to guide my tongue and regulate my thoughts. No. Bless my tongue, okay, and regulate my thoughts. Yes, it is. <laughs> Iridescent unicorn farts in the building. Oh, and guide my steps. That's what I asked him. Yes, it is. Oh, Annette. Hey, Annette twin. Okay, I'm here. I, I see you. You've been oh, 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 a part of the controversy lately. I'm like, girl, it's a whole lot of controversy on these YouTube streets. 
Everybody was trying to drag the king in and I was like, girl, we got this. Yes, it is. Oh, tell somebody what the elders say. God knows your heart. So quietly be charitable. Oh, periwinkle sparkle in the building. Hey, friend. <laughs> Tracy, we know Renee Jones. Hey, friend. How are you, friend? Yes, I got to reach out to you soon. Okay, we got to have a, a, a talk, talk real soon. We in OK on period so that we can get this uh stuff together. You already know what I'm talking about, when. Okay, you already know what that word. You already know what that word, OK on period. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, friend. See, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, go ahead and drop some trophies in the chat. Okay, if you're planning on supporting the show, that way we can shout you out. Okay, that's how we do it over here. That's how we do it over here. And that's just what that was. What that was. Because, you know, the YouTube, uh, uh, not the YouTube, but, you know, all the different apps and stuff, sometimes it'd be taking a little bit to go through. So, you know, if you support it, okay, and we could trust you, okay, on period. You wear your crown proudly. Go ahead and drop the uh, trophy so that we can go and shut you out because I trust you. I know this coming, okay, on period. The support is on its way in. Yes. <laughs> hey y'all, let me see those crowns in the chat. Let me see those crowns in the chat. It's up and it's stuck here in the home metal situation. God blesses 23. I know that's right. Oh, let me see uh, uh what the number of the day is. Did we get a number? Did we get a number? Oh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. My 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 the quickest with the fingers in the chat win. Okay, on here yet. And the number. Of the day, my 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 twenty, my my my. Oh, so we're gonna be asking everybody throughout the slide to donate by sending twenty dollars so that I hit my quota. Yes, it did. Simply, I hope that you donated, friend. Okay, okay. <laughs> I hope that you donated, friend. Okay, okay, because the girls be a say. Yes, it did. Y'all know the content is worth it. They be like, girl, please. King, you, you deserve all the things. Okay, on period. Of the things. Yes, it did. Okay, on period. God don't want me to want for nothing. God don't want me to want for nothing with. Okay, on period. And you shouldn't either. Gather in close. Gather in close. Hey, Rebecca. We got Mississippi in the building. I know that's right. Danny Lynn for the win by way of Indianapolis. I know that's right. We got Chicago in the building. A girl. I know that's right. I know that's right. We got Latasha Black in the building. Hey, yes, Jelly Raw sitting in the house. Hey, Jelly. Period. Oh, it's up and it's stuck here in the home of the lituation. We got two minutes left of the roll call. Okay, I'm here before we get into some things. Y'all hop out of the bushes. Y'all like this video. Like this video. Y'all already know where you're at. Act like you know where you're at. We like this video. Like this video. Like this video right now. Okay. And support. The number of the day is 20. Okay. How many likes do we got on this video? I'm waiting on you guys at this point. I'm waiting on you guys at this point. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Yay, sir. Yay, sir. We got our likes up when. Are you guys supporting? Have you guys supported the show when? Who's ready to get into some things? Everybody hashtag. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, everybody has sec. Let's go. Everybody has sec. Let's go. Everybody has sec. Let's go. Have you supported the show? Have you supported? Everybody has sec. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh, we ain't got all day. Let me go and run and grab these receipts. Okay. Let me go on and run and grab these receipts. Okay, on period. Ooh. It's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. Girl. Hold on.
My, my, my. So we got breaking news, okay, and developments in the Diddy case. And I have all the receipts right here. My, my, my. King Combs, okay, also known as Christian Combs, Diddy's son, accused of sexually assaulting and drugging women in looming lawsuit. My, my, my. My, my, my. Emphasis on looming. Okay, girls in the back, pull out your highlighters and highlight looming. Okay, I'll tell you guys what that was in just a minute. When this is a new lawsuit, this is not the little rod lawsuit. I've seen a lot of people equating, okay, um, the fact that Sean, uh, 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 uh Sean's son King was named in a lawsuit. Um, and you guys know that uh, little rod keeps updating his lawsuit. I've seen a lot of people saying that you know. This was that, okay, on period. But apparently it's not, okay? According to Vibe magazine, there is a new woman, okay, who has not been named yet. Another Jane Doe, okay, alleging that Diddy's son Christian, okay, also known as King, drugged her and sexually assaulted her. The can't stop, won't stop rapper, seemingly called cap on the allegation so you guys remember um last week amid i'll be sure it's allegations christian king king christian he posted to his instagram you know stop the cap okay apparently um they believe that he was referring to the new lawsuit that is being filed. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it when, okay, on period. Oh, you guys know that I'll be sure got a documentary coming out, okay, where he is alleging that Diddy tried to unalive him. Yes, he did. He still did all that and more coming up. The Fisher King Pan got all of the receipts. Win. Okay, I'm here. I just can't fit all of it in the title. Okay, period. I just can't fit all of it in the title, but I got all the receipts. I got all the receipts. Y'all like this video? Like this video? Like this video right now? It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. Let's go. Christian Combs is reportedly being named in a looming lawsuit accusing the rap star of sexually assaulting and drugging a woman. The lawsuit against Combs, the son of embattled rap mogul Sean Diddy Combs, has yet to be officially filed. Oh, uh, what? Uh, excuse me. Y'all couldn't wait till it was filed. I mean, how do we even know that the girl's gonna go through with it? I said, apparently, something is wrong with all the cones. As another woman has come forward to say that his sons are part of the sex rank as well. Listen to this. The lawsuit is currently in the works, according to attorney Tyrone Blackburn. The identity of Combs' alleged victim has yet to be revealed. We'd already been through that. I don't, I don't even know why they, they, they trying that. We ain't okay on period. Like, they just told the, 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 the woman, okay, allegedly, okay, the woman, the Jane Doe in the other lawsuit, okay, with Diddy is Sierra Marie. Girl. I can believe it. And the judge said that, you know, she can't go on with this lawsuit as Jane Doe. Okay. So, you know, it's going to, the same thing's going to happen here. Okay. On period. If this woman wants to, you know, petition the court and, and, and file this complaint and move forward in this litigation, she's going to eventually have to be named. My, my, my. 
it's a lot going on y'all like this video like this video like this video right now it's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation you already know okay So again, the identity of Combs' alleged victim has yet to be revealed and the details surrounding the reported lawsuit are sparse. While Combs has yet to address the allegations directly, he recently shared a post on social media that read, Stop the cap. Although he didn't give context to what or whom he was referring to, the rapper who performs under the name King Combs has been romantically linked to multiple women during his time in the spotlight. Combs dated his ex-girlfriend, Bria Hicks, for several years and is currently dating model Raven Tracy, who recently got Christian's name tattooed on her body. The claims made against Combs... <laughs> Wait, hold on. Why? <laughs> I just thought to myself, I said, I bet you regret that shit now. Okay, I bet you regret that shit now. Okay, I bet you over there trying to get that shit laserly removed. Okay, right now. Okay, why would you get... My, my, my. My, my, my. I bet you trying to get that shit removed now. Okay, on period. I'm like... Tattoo before a ring, girl, please. Girl, please. Okay. <clears throat> Moving right along. The claims made against Combs have been described as serious and thrust him into the vortex of shocking claims surrounding his father. As Diddy has been hit with several lawsuits in recent months, accusing him of sexual assault, sex trafficking, drug abuse, and more. My, my, my. What are your thoughts? Did Diddy do it? Did he do it? Okay. According to Albie Shore and others, he definitely did it. Did he definitely did it when, okay, on period, and the parents of Diddy kids are coming forward and, you know, pleading for their kids to come home. Like, what's it about Diddy? Okay, what's he doing over there? What's he teaching you guys? What's he showing you guys? Why do you guys want to stay over there? Come on home where you're safe. Come on home where you're safe. My, my, my. Justin must have went over there to his mama because his mama was like, girl, not my baby. Not my baby. He, didn't, he ain't know nothing about shit, okay? He ain't know nothing about shit, okay? He's innocent, okay? How could y'all do these black men like that? Oh, yes, she did. She pulled that black card so quick. She said, black people. She said, black people. I'm going to need you to stand with me. Lord, why is my, my camera is making it up on today? Girl, I'm the star, not next. Keep on trying to go to next. Girl, girl, hold on a second. Next, girl. I'm the star, not next. Whenever you get through, <laughs> like this video, like this video right now. It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. You already know. Okay, I'm here. I got all the receipts. Okay, Blackburn who has previously represented clients in litigation against celebrities such as T.I. and Tiny, as well as Nicki Minaj and Kenneth, is also the attorney for Rodney Little Rod Jones, the producer who filed the lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs earlier this year. How'd that work? How'd that work? How are all these people getting in contact with Blackburn? Is Blackburn running some sort of scheme? You guys all remember that attorney. What is her name? That was caught uh, 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 paying people to lie 
so that she could file these lawsuits on Trey Stones, Chris Brown, and others, and you know the Jane Doe's because they were doing the same thing, filing a lawsuit under Jane Doe's came forward and said that she paid them a hundred thousand dollars to lie and said that they were sexually assaulted. Hold on, what's her name? Because she sent me a cease and desist as well. <laughs> Them hosts did me a cease and desist as well. Hold on. Ariel Mitchell. That's her motherfucking name. Y'all remember Ariel Mitchell? Y'all remember Ariel Mitchell? Well, Blackburn is reminding me of Ariel Mitchell. And I got receipts. I'll, I'll show you the receipts. Okay, on period. I'll tell you guys why. I tell you guys why, when I got receipts. I got receipts when, okay, on period. Blackburn, okay, is posting ads looking for accusers, okay? Because, you know, Cassie settled in and 24 hours, okay? If he could get fired another Cassie, okay, he'll be rich. Girl. Girl. Okay? Last month, Homeland Security conducted raids of Diddy's properties in California and Miami, during which Christian and elder brother Justin were detained and later released um, following the investigation. So let's get into these receipts, okay, on period. Like I said... Blackburn has posted ads, okay, looking for girls, okay, to uh, 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 turn over uh, uh, Diddy and his, his kids to the authorities, okay, on period. Um, Sean Diddy Combs, sexual abuse investigation. Did you experience sexual abuse and or human trafficking by Sean Diddy Combs or by any of his employees? If yes, please contact us now. For a free claim review. My, my, my. My, my, my. Running sexual abuse advertisements. For people to come forward. My, my, my. What do you guys think about that? Something is definitely fishy about that something's definitely fishy about that and you know uh, uh, I feel like if they, these accusers were going to come forward or you know if it was something that was you know weighing on their heart they, they would not need all the additional Encouragement. And all of the people who have come forward, in my opinion, have only come forward not for the betterment of the community or those affected by Diddy, but for their own financial gain. And were complicit parties in everything that Diddy did. Wow, under Diddy's control, okay, on period, including Cassie, including Cassie. Cassie telling them where the bodies were buried, but she's known for a long time. She's known for a long time, okay, on period. What prevented Cassie from coming forward before? My, my, my. My, my, my. So. King is being added to the list of employees that have sexually assaulted or being accused of sexually assaulted, assaulting 
uh, woman uh, under Diddy's, you know, dictatorship. You know, Lil Rock said that, you know, Diddy was pimping him out. Somebody said, how a grown-ass man get pimped out by another man? He said, Diddy was pimping him out. He didn't want to do it. Okay, I'm here, but Diddy forced him to do it. Okay. Um, can you believe that these men were being forced into criminal acts, sexually heinous acts, by Diddy and they all listened because they were intimidated, scared of being what? Cut off or what? And now that you know, the home has been raided and Justin and King have been named in these lawsuits. Misa is coming forward and speaking out. Misa is the mother of Justin. Okay, she's saying, my baby is innocent when she's saying that those boys, okay, she said the feds use excessive force on those boys and she's obtaining an attorney to see what that were. My, my, my. My, my, my. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat when. She said the the the, the feds, they, they use too much, too much force on her babies. My, my, my. I don't, I don't know what she was expecting the feds to do. I guess they were supposed to take it easy on the Combs family because they rich. Because they rich. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out because, you know, I didn't see anything uh, uh, out of the order. They, I mean, this was a raid. That's what they do. That's, I mean... I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm assuming she was expecting some sort of special treatment when, oh, we got all the receipts. Let me go on and pull the receipts out. Misa Hilton shares Diddy's home raid footage and calls out federal agents excessive use of force on sons. And I have that footage here in house. We'll check it out in just a moment here. Okay. Justin and Christian Combs were handcuffed at their father's Los Angeles property on March 25th. She said, my babies are innocent, especially this one right here. This one mine. Okay, this one mine. Okay, this one is mine. And I know the innocent. I mean, he don't come home that much, but I know Diddy ain't, uh, 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 ain't do all that. Okay, on period, I raised my baby right. Yes, he did. I raised my baby right, okay, and he would told he would have told me when, right? He would have told me when. She said, not my baby. He innocent. Sean Diddy Combs' ex-girlfriend, Misa Hilton, is speaking out after their son, Justin, and his brother, Christian, were handcuffed amid a highly publicized property raid on Combs' Los Angeles home late last month. Okay. Hilton, 51, posted security video footage of the March 25th raid to Instagram on Tuesday and called out the Homeland Security agents who executed the raid for their overzealous and overtly militarized force. Mm, I mean, I think that's part of the job description. I think they're supposed to be intimidating. I think they're supposed to... You know, look scurry and overzealous. Against Justin Combs and his brother King, they use excessive force. The feds. Homeland Security, 
local PD, all used excessive force against my sons, Justin and Christian, and it's deplorable. If these were the sons of a non-black celebrity, they would have not been handled with the same aggression. Thoughts? Thoughts? I don't know. I mean, I've had my place raided before. I mean, it was pretty similar. Um, but I'm black, so I don't know. I mean, I was met with the same aggression. So maybe shit. Maybe stuff was done. Was it done right when I my shit got raided with? Okay, oh period. Maybe I need to sue too. Okay, oh period. Who I need to call Blackburn? Girl, I need to call Blackburn, motherfucking ass. Sound like he knows what the fuck he doing. Okay, I'm here, baby. Give me some motherfucking money. Okay, I'm here, baby. I give me some motherfucking money because y'all know that the fish king pain is broke. Okay, y'all know the fish king. Y'all supporting this show? I'm supporting this show. I don't know because when my house got raided, okay, on period. Oh, and I'm just speaking for me. I'm just speaking for me. This is you know another black man in America. It was it was pretty it was similar. It was pretty similar. That's how they did it. Pull me out by my hair. Put me out of my car by my hair. Okay. Actually, it was a lot worse than that. Actually, they did they actually did come take a little, you know, you know. Actually, now that I recall on my home, they they fucking had bombs and all kind of shit. They tore up the wall, the ceiling, the fireplace, the TV. They fucked my shit up. Girl, they did that, girl, they did that easy. She tripping. She tripping, girl. They was they was kind. They was kind to the yeah. She clearly deflecting. Yeah, deflection, deflection. Let's talk about the children. What the kids? What a, what? And I'm not talking about your kids. I'm talking about the ones in the grotto. The ones Cassie is telling the feds about. Okay, I'm period. Those are the kids we're looking for. The the traffic kids. Let's talk about them. All the motherfucking deflection when you right, friend. You right. Mm-hmm. Talking about, oh, if it was a, a, a non-black celebrity, they wouldn't have handled them with such aggression. My, my, my. Let's talk about it. She goes on to say the attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent. Ooh, girls in the back. Pull out your highlighters. Pull out your highlighters. Girls in the back. I'm going to need y'all to highlight that part. Innocent. Innocent. Some tells me she's going to be biting her words soon. Some tells me she's going to be biting her words soon. Okay, on period. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, on period. Um, Diddy had a lot of parties at his house. Okay, on period. Drugs and thugs and liquor, you know. Right around the same time that Cassie filed her lawsuit. King, Christian King, King Christian, he came out and he announced that he gangbanging now. He's now a member of the GDKs. Yeah, y'all ain't seen that? Y'all ain't seen that? Christian said that he a gangbanger. And you know that if he is found guilty of these crimes, okay, there are, you know, added, there's added time for uh, gang members. Yes, it did. Yeah, they give gang members more time. Yes, it did. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, y'all want the receipts? Y'all are so messy. Oh, y'all are so messy. I don't know why y'all so messy like this. 
I don't know why y'all so messy like this. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. We in. Y'all know that I got all the receipts, right? <laughs> that part. <laughs> it's a deal. Y'all know that I came with the receipts. We'll come back to this. Oh, hey, I'm here. The girls is like, he said what? <laughs> yes, he did. Okay? Yes, he did. Listen to this. Thank you, baby. Did you see that little thing? Yes, oh. You know the gang signs and everything. Y'all see him throwing up the signs? Y'all see him throwing up the signs when? Hold on for the girls in the back. Y'all know everything I sell here is based off of, a, off of a receipt. Okay, it's my motherfucking opinion mix for receipts whenever you get through. I don't say nothing. I can't back up with a receipt. I don't say nothing. I can't back up with a receipt. And, and a, uh, the ooh. And the ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm funny with receipts. Okay, on period. I'm, I can be funny. Okay, on period. And I can also deliver the the truth and that's that's what that was period period everybody ain't able thank you baby GDK. thank you baby GDK. Oh. my 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 the presence of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. The presence of the Lord is here. I feel it in the atmosphere. Why do these kids want to be so hard? They want to be so hard all the time when, okay, on period, they need to get this from God. They need to get this one, guys. They need to go to church. If you're scared, go to church, okay, I'm here. Stop running to these gangs. Your daddy made all this motherfucking money. Got y'all here in these motherfucking mansions. All the kids that he the motherfucker had to traffic for you hoes to live a better life. And you bitches want a motherfucker be out here gang banging? If you're scared, go to church. If you're scared, go to church. We're in okay, on period. See, 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 see. They must not oh, 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 be attending that uh, 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 Illuminati convention no more, or whatever they the, the Satanists be doing on my fucking Sunday. They must not be doing that no more when okay on paper because they got too much free time on their motherfucking hands. You got motherfucking uh, 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 King Christian Christian King motherfucking joining the motherfucking uh, uh, GDKs when you got motherfucking uh, Justin motherfucking uh, packing his bags and motherfucking uh, disappearing when y'all know he gone. Y'all know that we ain't seen him, Wino Camp here. Allegedly, Misa got him over there in her basement. Okay, let's talk about it, Wino Camp here. And Quincy, OMG, Quincy is just out here making it up, okay, on period. Quincy making it up, Wino Camp period. Quincy already know where the grass is green, okay, on period. He already, he already got his uh, uh, escape plan, okay? He already got escape plan, okay, on period, uh, 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 together, apparently, because he said he he's not going to Abby's house, okay? He said he's not running to his father when, okay, on period. He said, oh, 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 that ain't my daddy. Okay. He said, Diddy is my daddy. Okay, on period. I'm going to do what Diddy, okay, and uh, and I discussed. Okay. Apparently, they already got the uh, escape. All in order. Mm. That's what I think. Okay, what y'all think? Y'all let me know in the chat. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. It's up in the stuck here in the home of the situation. And that's just on what? Period. And they're mad. Okay. And they're mad. Oh, she said innocent black men. My, my, my. Make sure that y'all highlight that. She said it's despicable. She continued writing that enough is enough. And that the boys attorney, Jeffrey Lichman, was investigating the excessive use of force used on Justin and Christian Combs, okay, which she called unnecessary and certainly not required by the search warrant. My, my, my. My, my, my. And we have the Instagram post here. We'll check it out in just a moment. Did Justin need several laser beams from firearms pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? She wrote, how many times have we seen young, unarmed black men not make it out of these types of situations alive? My, my, my. My, my, my. Now she wants the oh, oh, community, okay, to rally behind her. 
She wants us to rally behind her now. We're okay on people. Where were you when the bus loads of kids were being dropped off at Diddy's house? Okay on period. Justin was there. Christian was there. What about the bodies in the grotto? The tunnels under the house. Let's talk about it. Justin and King, they seen their buses. And if they didn't see them buses, they could rewind the tapes. There's tapes everywhere. There's cameras everywhere. They took boxes of phones from the house. Y'all see that shit? Fans can knock on my door right now. They won't leave out of here, but with probably one box. With my broke ass. <laughs> Girl! Box after box after box. You gonna tell me that Justin and Christian and Quincy ain't on none of them tapes. They don't know nothing about nothing. They were staying at the house. With cameras in every room, they had gotten used to Diddy seeing them in compromising positions, I'm sure. Cameras right over their bed. If you guys pay attention, when they were detained, they had girls over. They be in there fucking, and did he be at his home in Miami watching? He's such a perv. He's such a perv. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay, on period. Official complaint got all the receipts. Okay, the security footage shared by Hilton shows the heavily armed federal agents entering Combs' home and pushing Christian, who had his hands above his head against a wall while handcuffing him. Okay, now, oh, 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 you're talking about heavily armed, okay, on period. Let's talk about heavily secured, okay, on period. Diddy's home was the only one with a security gate over there in, oh, what, what? Hobley Hills. Diddy Home was heavily secured with cameras and guns. They said they took a, a, a lot of guns from the house. You know, a lot of people aren't talking about it. Okay. Um, you know, it's not being reported by a lot of outlets. Um, but there were also guns removed from Diddy's home. Yes, it did. Justin is also seen in the video walking with his hands above his head while a gun is aimed at him. Both Justin and Christian were handcuffed outside the state as they spoke with authorities, though both were released without arrest. And again, I watched the video, and in my humble opinion, they they were very gentle with your babies. Misa, I'm 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 sorry to tell you when maybe you have never been a part of a raid, okay? On period. But they were very gentle with your with your with your babies. Yes they were. Yes they were. They didn't they didn't rough they didn't rough them up or nothing, okay? On period. They pulled me by my hair out of my car window when my home was raided. And I didn't have nothing to do with nothing. I didn't know nothing. To this day, I don't know nothing. You know? By my hair. Put my dreads out and everything. Your babies. They was very gentle with them. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Allowed them to walk back, put their hands up. Okay. When they did put their hands up, they didn't, you know, twist their arm into a weird position and place the cuffs on them, slam them down. You know, they didn't, they didn't do any, you know, 
thing that I would consider excessive. Okay, outside of show up, they did show up, you know, in, in you know, number, but in my opinion, you know, his, his estate is massive. Diddy's estate is massive. You don't know what's in, in inside. They wanted to be just as intimidating as the estate that they were pulling up to. And that's just on period. Diddy's home is very intimidating, period. You don't want uh, as many cops showing up, buy a smaller home, okay, on period. Buy a smaller home. They needed all, if, in my opinion, they needed every one of them officers, okay? They didn't want to be there for motherfucking days. They have to clear, they have to clear through the motherfucking, uh, uh, Palace, the grotto, the motherfucking tunnels. Okay, they have to get they have to get the shuffle through all that shit. There's a lot of a lot of space. Okay, a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. They had a lot of ground to cover. Yes, it did. Oh. My my my. So then um the article goes on to say both Justin and Christian were handcuffed outside the estate as they spoke with authorities, though both were released without arrest. We will fight for justice, utilizing every imaginable resource, Hilton wrote. In her caption, I'm not with the propaganda. Lichman did not immediately respond to people's requests for comment. My, my, my. My, my. It's really unfortunate that Diddy's over there teaching them, you know, to uh, drug and sexually assault women because these boys... <laughs> In my opinion, it's fine. Fine, they don't have to. They, he don't have to do none of that. He don't have to do none of that. We okay. They don't have to do none of that. Okay, on period. Yes, they did. But apparently, you know, there is multiple women who are saying they did. In some men. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We okay on period. Tina said, very gentle because they raid, they would have been roughed up, slammed to the ground, and knee in the back or neck. So Mia, Misa, you have no idea of having 20 cop knees on your back. Your son wasn't roughed up. Okay, let's talk about it because that happened to me. That's what happened to me, Weird. Let's talk about it, Weird. They showed up just like that, Weird. Okay, I'm here, but they, they, they use excessive force. I knew I, knew I had a lawsuit. God, I knew I had a lawsuit, Weird. Okay, I'm officially hanging a bin rich. Fuck. <laughs> Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the lituation. Oh, let's go. The raid on Combs' home in Los Angeles and Miami were part of an ongoing Homeland Security investigation reportedly looking into allegations similar to those being made in two pending lawsuits accusing the music mogul 54 of sex trafficking. You know, the raids are because of the lawsuits that are against Diddy, but they're alleging that the investigation is not about Diddy. Diddy is not named in the alleged investigation. They're just pulling uh, 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 the wool over our eyes. Okay, I'm here. They're trying to pull the wool over our eyes. They won't, They don't want Diddy to get any ideas because, you know, eventually, okay, he is going to be arrested, in my opinion. I feel like they're just watching him. They're trying to figure out his connects. Um, the operation, the sex trafficking rink, they want all the information um, that they can obtain before moving to taking the sex rink down. Because in order to have a sex trafficking operation, there has to be many moving parts, okay? He's not doing this on his own. So they're trying to figure out how he's trafficking these kids, women, young men, etc. And they're working with Cassie and Little Rod and others to figure out. And official campaign has all the receipts. Yes, it did. Oh, 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 and breaking news, breaking news. Do y'all know, uh, see, Little Rod is getting on my motherfucking nerves, okay? He need to wait till 
the motherfucking trial star or something win because he keeps updating this lawsuit girl and this man the name uh, now okay he has made Cuba Gooding Jr. a co-defendant in the lawsuit sounds like he wants the money from Cuba Gooding Jr. as well sound like he wants some money from Cuba Gooding Jr. as well yeah yeah, he said Cuba. Now, if I don't know if you guys remember, uh, 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 the Rob was saying that Cuba Gooding Jr. was sticking his fingers in the snatch. He was sneaking his fingers in his dookie shoot. That's what he said. He said he was just reaching from behind and just whoop. I said, "Damn, that hole is loose." I said, Damn, that hole. I said, so, "So you just he just reached on off in your pants, and the next thing you know, his fingers was in your hole." That's crazy to me. I said, that's some loose. I said, he got some thick bowel movements or something. Because, damn, damn, damn. I said, and then this kept occurring. I said, what are the times he would have reached back there and pulled back some shit? You didn't, you didn't try nothing to, 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 to prevent them from fucking assaulting you every day. You make like this shit happen every motherfucking day. Bitch, you should have put some peanut butter in your asshole or something weird. So when you reach back there, he pull back like, what the fuck is this? You know? Like, yeah, I put some uh, uh, some butter in my asshole because I didn't want you touching it. You know, like, you just allowed these men to sexually manipulate you into positions and ways that you've never been manipulated in before against your will. They're like, let's talk about it. Lil Rod know that he was over there getting that back blue out when Lil Rod ain't nothing but a uh, uh, big old bottom. Let's talk about it. Gay, it's a pie bottom. Yes, it is. Yes, it is trying to sit up here and make like all these men wanting him. Okay, I'm here. I can't believe it. Okay, I'm here. I can't. I refuse to believe it. Okay, because Lil Rod is hardly anything to look at. He said, he said that Meek Mill, Cuba getting Jr., Usher, and, and, and Diddy and others was motherfucking trying to take his doogie snatch. They wanted his doogie cookies. Yes, it did. That's what he said. Friend. Friend, do I do I have to go over the lawsuit with y'all? That's what he say yet. Yeah. Yeah. Next time Cuba uh, uh, would have reached back there, I would have made sure there was some dookie in the snatch just for him. <laughs> okay. Shit. You said you don't want them fingers up there, but you made sure it was nice and clean every time he reached back there. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. One of those suits filed in February by record producer Rodney Little Rock Jones names Justin as a defendant and claims he solicits prostitutes, underage girls, and sex workers. <laughs> his attorney responded to the suit upon his filing, saying in a statement that the absurd allegations are all lies, according to Rolling Stone. My, my, my. My, my, my. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. This is a clear example of a desperate person taking desperate measures in hopes of a payday. The statement read, there will be legal consequences for all defamatory statements made about the Combs family. My, my, my. My, my, my. Did the oh, 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 legal team threatening legal action once, you know, all the dust is settled? Okay, on period. I'll be waiting for my cease and desist. Okay, on period. The truth is the truth. Okay, on period. Somebody said, don't hold your breath, King. Somebody said, don't hold your breath, King. He did it. Did he did it? Did he did it?
Okay. Stuff for the TV network. Stuff for the TV network. You know, we busy over here working. Did he did it? Okay, on period. Christian Combs, who shared his late ex-girlfriend, Kim Porter, who also accused, who's also accused in the suit of drugging and sexually assaulting a woman, and Jones wrote that a complaint is forthcoming. My, my, my. So they said, according to Rodney Jones, okay, that there is another woman and there is a complaint forthcoming. Shortly after the raids were executed, Combs attorney Aaron Dyer slammed them as a gross overuse of military level force. The unprecedented president in ambush leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in several lawsuits, he wrote. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. On Monday, Christian celebrated his 26th birthday. We're going to get into it. Like I told you, they was out here wilding, friend. It was out here turned up for Christian's birthday, okay, on period, amid being rejected from the Ben Crump Awards, okay, on period. Ben Crump and them said that he, they, the Cone family can't come to the uh, 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 gala. They said they're not invited to the cookout win, okay, on period. Uh, Christian was slated to give out an award at the Ben Crump's award ceremony here in L.A., um, but was rejected the night of the event because of all of the allegations and the raids and the lawsuits um against his father and maybe you know ben crump was privy to the pending lawsuit against christian christian was not allowed to um present an award that night because i'll be sure was being honored and i have all the receipts y'all stay tuned for that y'all stay tuned for event. okay on perry um again he celebrated his 26th birthday Okay, I'm period. I'm gonna pull it up. Hilton shared a special note to her Instagram story, story sharing a photo of him and writing "Happy Birthday, Chris, love you" with a series of red hearts. Hilton previously shared a series of cryptic posts that seemed tied to Combs in June 2023, the same day Justin was arrested and charged with a DUI in Los Angeles. My my my, you guys remember that? You guys remember that? Yeah, your baby not so innocent, friend. Your baby not so innocent, friend. Your baby just motherfucker oh, 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 oh. was apprehended for a DUI here in Los Angeles, driving under the influence of alcohol when on okay, period. Just because Diddy his father, okay, on period, does not mean that he is not subject to the consequences of breaking the law. Like whatever became of the DUI. Okay, on period. Did he pay somebody? Okay, when when does his uh, DUI classes start? Okay, shouldn't he? He should be in like you know AA instead of you know at the freak offs. Like anybody that has gotten a DUI in California knows that you have to take like a year of classes. And you're not supposed to be driving. So what? what's going on with Justin, Misa? It's the selective outrage for me. In a series of posts, she appeared to air her grievances with Combs, though the two later shared friendly exchanges and since deleted Instagram comments. You know, after her son got the DUI, she blamed Diddy. And, you know urged Diddy to do something, you know, uh, protect her baby. And, you know, at that time, she wanted Justin to come home because, you know, what's he doing drinking and driving? What's he doing drinking and driving? My, my, my. Uh, again, like, what's Diddy over there teaching them? What's Diddy over there teaching them? I think that's the better question. I think that's the better question. My, my, my. So, like the article stated, Misa uh, 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 
posted this to her Instagram story, okay, um, she posted a video clip showing the alleged excessive force slamming the Homeland Security and the feds and the local PD for um, apparently mistreating her babies because they innocent, okay? And she says she, they know they're innocent. They know they're innocent while they messing with her kids, okay? Here is the footage. Check this out. What you circling the gun for, girl? What they were supposed to come up in there with? Or oh, 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 knives? Like what? She says the overzealous and overtly militarized force used against my sons, Justin and Christian, is deplorable. If these were, were the sons of non black celebrities, they would have not been handled with the same aggression. The attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent black men is despicable. Enough is enough. Did Justin need several laser beams um, from firearms pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? How many times have we seen young unarmed black men not make it out of these types of situations? You see, they got their drones out and everything. Okay, she said, I have retained attorney Jeffrey Lichman to represent my sons, and he is investigating the excessive use and excessive force. So you see they have, you know, King up here against the wall, and, you know, it's, it, you know he's not really, you know, up against the wall, if you ask me. You kind of, you know, they're just, you know, apprehending the young man. Okay, it's not really giving excessive force to me. But according to Misa, it, it was. And she said it's, it was unnecessary and certainly not required by the search warrant. She said we will fight for justice utilizing every imaginable resource. And she's not with the propaganda. So there goes Justin. Again, where's the excessive force? They're being detained during a raid. I mean. It could have been a lot worse, if you ask me. And then you got Justin walking back. They allow him to walk over to him. She said, you know, here they got laser beams pointed at his chest. That's why she's circling that. I mean, he's unarmed. Walking, um... You know, one of their house guests outside. Again, I'm not seeing the excessive force. I'm seeing that there was a lot of, you know, the police force that pulled up. Hold on one second. I feel like there was a lot of people, you know, a lot of officers that pulled up, you know, um, and it looked rather intimidating. But again, you know, the home and Diddy's money and, you know, the allegations are rather intimidating as well. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the chat. So there's been a lot of conversation online about who's cooperating with the feds, okay, on period. Um, is Cassie cooperating with the feds? Is, you know, uh, Little Rod cooperating with the feds? You know, where are they getting their information? Why is this all happening when? Well, I have receipts here, okay, that allege that Cassie and Little Rock both are working with the feds, and um, here's what's being said. Diddy, Cassie is cooperating with the feds in probe 
others talking as well okay on period so here's what's being said Diddy's ex Cassie has been in touch with the authorities in the federal investigation not just that we're told she's cooperating as are others who've sued him okay on period so they know that she is cooperating with the feds and that's part of the reason Diddy's home has been raided sources with direct knowledge tell us cassie is among the witnesses the feds have been in contact with in connection with the diddy investigation we're told she's been working with investigators for several weeks presumably even before diddy's homes were raided my 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 you guys remember to like this video and support this video the number of the evening is 20 like like this video like this video like this video right now it's up and it's stuck here in the home of the lituation let's go let's go okay given the timing it seems cassie may have helped the feds establish probable cause to get a judge to sign off on the search warrant other women were told have also been in contact with federal investigators we don't know what cassie has told the feds but presumably it mirrors the lawsuit she filed against diddy in which she alleged he forced her to have sex with multiple male prostitutes raped her beat her and piled plied her with drugs and alcohol over the course of their relationship my 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 and there's a copy of the lawsuit there for the girls in the back she also alleged he engaged in sex trafficking. Diddy denied her claims, but settled in a day, a day after she filed the lawsuit. As well as, as, as we all know, Cassie was in a long-time relationship with Diddy for about 10 years before they split. In 2018, her current husband is Diddy's former trainer. My, my, my. My, my, my. So, um, Cassie again Cassie was in a long time relationship with Diddy for about 10 years before they split in 2018 and she's currently with Diddy's former trainer okay it is unclear at this point which of the other women have also been cooperating with the feds we also don't know if Diddy's ex-employee Rodney Jones has been interviewed at this time well we do well we do and the official King Payne has the receipt Rodney Jones is also working with the fans, and I'll pull out the receipts in just a moment here. Diddy has called the allegations against him and the rage a witch, a witch hunt. For now, he hasn't been arrested or charged with a crime. And again, the fans are saying, you know, he's not the target of this investigation, but I beg to differ. Okay. Um, again, this is a developing story. And, you know, as more details come out, I will continue to update you guys and keep you guys abreast of all things Diddy related. Okay. On period. In the article, they stated that they don't know if Little Rod is working with the feds. I have uh, 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 information and belief that he is also working with the feds. Okay. You guys like this video, like this video, like this video right now. Are you guys supporting the show? Are you guys enjoying your time here? Make sure that you guys are liking the video. Like this video. Like this video. When Remember to support the video. We can't do it without your support. We should have hit our quotas by now. We should have hit our quotas by now. As we got a full day of content planned. I don't have time to stop the live. Okay, on period. I don't have time. Okay, we're moving into a new energy. This year, Crown Family, we have to get into the energy of giving okay without you know expectation yes it did remember to support the show or support your favorite content creators we can't do it without your support like this video if you guys are planning on supporting the show drop some trophies in the chat so that we can acknowledge you and shout you out when because we love to acknowledge our supporters around here it's up and it's stuck here in the home of the lituation um like I said, a little rod is cooperating with the feds. Okay, on period. And I have the receipts right here. Let's go. So according to Dreads World um, Entertainment, Little Rod is cooperating with the feds against Diddy. Okay, and claims he was trafficked. Okay. Little Rod is claiming that he was pimped by Diddy. You know, uh, you know, a lot of people have been calling Little Rod out saying that he was complicit. 
He was complicit with everything that was going on. And he was. Not only was he complicit, but so was Cassie. Okay, we just got to call a thing a thing. We got to call a spade a spade. He was complicit. Cassie was complicit. The boys were complicit. There's a lot of complicit parts. There's a lot of complicit parties, okay? Um, there's a lot of complicit parties. And, you know, right now people are calling Little Rod out because, you know, he's saying that the reason behind his complicitness is because, you know, he's afraid of Diddy. Diddy was pimping him out. Diddy forced him to do it. Um, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You know, people are saying, how did Diddy make you a grown-ass man, you know, drug and, and recruit and, and traffic young woman? Let's talk about it. Little Rod claims Diddy pimped him, and he's cooperating with the feds. My, my, my. Diddy pimped him, and he is cooperating with the feds. Let's get into it. Following news that Diddy's homes have been raided by Homeland Security, new report says Little Rod, the producer who recently sued Diddy after the former billionaire refused to give him approximately $250,000, is the main federal informant behind the raids. Girl, not only is he the informant, not only is he working with the feds, but he is the main informant girl let me go grab me some coffee over here on period it's time for me to head out we don't care on period don't care if it's a campaign always come with the receipt yes it did yes it did according to tmz law enforcement sources claim this case is being handled out of the southern district of new york the case is said to be tied to sex trafficking allegations which have been levied against diddy in recent months from different plaintiffs my, 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 my. Are, are there any holes in the building? Okay, on period. Are there any holes in the building when it? No. Uh, 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 little Rod struggle when your pimp made you do it. Your pimp made you do it. Okay, on period. Little Rod is alleging that Diddy was his pimp and Diddy made him do it. My, my, my. Per Little Rod's lawsuit, which is almost 80 pages long, the producer claimed that Diddy trafficked him. Lord, not Diddy trafficking Duke and Snatch, too. This isn't about any woman being trafficked. Little Rod claims that Diddy forced him to engage in freak ops. He said Diddy don't like no little girls. Diddy like the little boys. Okay, on period. By using intimidation and promises of money. My, my, my. Y'all think Diddy did Little Rod? Y'all think that Diddy was diddling Lil Rod when? Okay, Lil Rod said that he said, oh, your favorite celebrity, celebrity, uh, 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 uh Snatch. Okay, on period. He said, he said, all your faves, like, you know, wanted his Snatch. He said, your favorite celebrities, uh, uh violated his Dookie Snatch. Okay, on period. Let's talk about it. For better comprehension, Little Rod is claiming that Diddy was the pimp and he was the hoe. He is the part of the lawsuit that says just that. Okay. My, my, my. Trafficking and Victims Protection Act. Throughout his time with Mr. Combs, Mr. Jones was transported from California to New York. Florida, and the United States Virgin Islands. During this time, Mr. Jones was forced to solicit sex workers and perform sex acts to the pleasure of Mr. Combs. On or about February 4th, 2023, Mr. Combs forced Mr. Jones to bring prostitutes and sex workers back home in Miami, Florida. Don't the official campaign always come with the receipts? Yes. yes the, are, are you guys liking this video? Are you guys supporting this video? We ain't okay on period. You guys got to support these receipts. You guys got to support these receipts. We ain't okay on period. Make sure that you guys are liking this video and supporting the number of the evening is 20. Okay, go on and hop out of the bushes and support right now. We ain't okay on period. Especially if you guys are enjoying the content. According to the lawsuit, Little Rock claims that Diddy allegedly drugged him and forced him to perform freak-offs with two sex workers. Yes, it did. And here's that part of the lawsuit. Let's get into it. By the way, we are just one supporter away from hitting our quota. Hop out of the bushes and support the show. Win, okay, on period. The number of the evening is 20. Oh, the sex workers that Mr. Combs forced Mr. Jones to bring back to his home. He even got pictures of the sex workers. Here they go. 
On or about February 2nd, 2023, incident, Mr. Jones believes Mr. Combs drugged him. Mr. Jones recalls waking up naked, dizzy, and confused with semen in his anus. My, my, my. He was in bed with two sex workers and Mr. Combs. <laughs> oh, he said, did he? And, and the sex workers that he recruited were all in the bed. And, and his hole was wore out. And he doesn't recall what had happened. He said, did he drug them? He also recalls aimlessly wandering around the house with no clothes on. My, my, my. Reminds me of that scene from Friday when a uh, 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 Smokey was running down the street. <laughs> when he woke up in a chicken coop and he didn't know what was going on. Mama! Mama! And he was calling for his mama. <laughs> So he was wandering aimlessly around the house naked. He don't he don't he don't recall what had happened. He believes that he drugged them and took his duke and snatch. Lord, Lord, everybody getting drugged. What, what, what is this drug? What is this drug that they giving the girls? Okay, I'm here. Little Rod also claimed that Diddy once forced him to go to a Miami gentleman's establishment and solicit more sex workers so that he could bring them home for another freak-off se session where Diddy and Young Miami would watch. Lord! He said Young Miami is privy to the freak-offs, too. Lock her ass up, too. Go on and lock her up, too. No wonder JT said, uh-uh, no. Nah. No wonder JT had to motherfucking uh, distance herself from motherfucking, uh-uh-uh. Young sex worker in Miami, that little sex worker. Okay, I'm period. That little sex worker win. Did he want a JT too? Okay, I'm period. Did he want a JT over there to twerk a lady as well? Okay, I'm period. Yeah, and JT said no. Nah. Okay, I'm period. JT said no. Nah. She said I'm a, I'm a real rapper. She said I don't gotta sell my snacks for no motherfucking uh 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 uh, uh, uh Scooby snacks. Okay, I'm period for no Diddy snack. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Okay, I'm period. JT was smart. Okay, I'm period because had she fallen. For the, the 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 trap, like young Miami. Okay, right now she would be getting crucified instead of celebrating her number one. Okay, album is just that hit that charting. Okay, on period. Right now, yes it did. Yes it did. Y'all like this video? Like this video? Like this video? Remember to support when okay on period. We're just twenty dollars away from our quota. Okay, help the official campaign meet its goals. Okay, on period. Yes, hop out of the bushes and support. So here's what the lawsuit said about Young Miami and Diddy. Okay, and how they will watch. Okay, as Lil Rob will get his freak on per Diddy's request. He said Diddy was making him do it. Diddy was pimping him out, and and Young Miami know. Young Miami know, and Young Miami was there, and she was watching. Listen. He said, on another occasion in Miami, Florida, on Thanksgiving night of 2022, oh, not Thanksgiving, girl, girl, of all the things that you can be thankful for, Mr. Uh, Combs was over there thankful for your dookie snatch. He said, Diddy asked Mr. Jones and DeForest Tyler to enter the studio bathroom. Oh, shit, it's about to get shitty. He asked them. For a hundred dollar bill because he wanted them to do cocaine with them. And uh, ooh, Mr. Jones was scared. But luckily, he didn't have a hundred dollar bill. So Mr. Combs waited a little later to do coke with young Miami. He said he only do coke out of hundred dollar bills. He said, Oh, you don't got a hundred dollar bill? He said, I can't do cocaine with you. He said, You's a broke bitch. He said, I do, I do rich coke. Uh, I do coke rich. Okay, period. Did it clearly uh, uh, did not possess a, a hundred dollar bill either. He had to wait for young Miami to bring it all the way from my, Miami. Lord, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay. Mr. Jones was scared, but luckily he didn't have the hundred dollar bill. So Mr. Combs waited for young Miami. Later that evening, he required Mr. Jones to solicit sex workers from a spot called Booby Trap on the river located at 3615 Northwest South River Drive in Miami. Mr. Jones did just that. 
okay? And Mr. Combs forced him to engage in unsolicited sex with those sex workers. And this is where he alleged that he was in the bed. He woke up in the bed with uh, uh, those uh, uh, sex workers, okay? Diddy and, and two of the sex workers he, he didn't brought back from the booby trap. I'm, I'm assuming that young Miami uh, 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 was disgusted and was praying to the porcelain god or, or either left the home. Um, are uh, responsibly in the bed as well. Okay, how big is this fucking bed? That's a lot of motherfucking people for a California king. Or, or how big is this fucking bed? Okay, I'm here. Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. Remember to support the show. We can't do it without your support. We're trying to hit our quotas. Little Rod explain how Diddy instructed him to pick up sex workers to participate in freak offs. Okay, on period. And one thing I want people to remember, okay, with these lawsuits, okay, is that these are complaints, okay? These are, um, this is Little Rod's testimony. This is his warned statement, pretty much. Um, You know, take take this and, and do with this what you want. But, you know, and, and granted, there's a lot of people accusing Diddy. But again, for the girls in the back, remember that these are allegations. That's what I'm trying to say. These are allegations, okay? These are complaints. These are allegations, okay? Um, I, I, I don't believe that any um, solid evidence have been provided um, or produced as far as, you know, receipts um, showing the alleged behavior. There has been a lot of truth in these statements okay because of little rod you know the drug mule diddy's alleged drug mule brendan paul i believe was arrested he was arrested with drugs on him trying to smuggle drugs into antigua with diddy diddy was there now diddy what are you doing hanging out with known drug mule Brandon? What are you doing catching a flight on a private jet with Brandon with cocaine and other narcotics? What is someone like you, a mogul, billionaire even, someone of your stature traveling? with known drug mule, Brendan, chartering a, a private jet so that you could smuggle drugs into other countries. Or even, what, kids? Wonder how many kids have boarded those private jets. You guys like this video, like this video, like this video right now. Remember to support us up and stuck here in the home of the situation. We got all of the receipts out, okay, on period, like we do. Like we do. So, here is the statements in the lawsuit. Um, that explain how Diddy instructed Little Rod to pick up the sex workers, okay? So he's at the booby trap on the river, and as a part of Mr. Jones's sex worker recruitment tools, Mr. Combs provided Mr. Jones with an exclusive bad boy baseball cap and required him to wear it to booby trap on the river as a signal to any sex worker he approached that Mr. Combs was in town and had sent Mr. Jones to recruit them. It gives that, you know, this isn't the first time that Diddy has sent someone down there to recruit. 
Um, this was a normal practice um, for, you know, Diddy. Um, the, I'm, I, you know, I'm assuming that, you know, someone from the booby trap is going to come forward at, at some point, maybe a sex worker. You know, why hasn't any of the sex workers or any of these alleged people who participate in these freak-offs come forward yet? Is this all a money grab? Let's talk about it. There's a lot of moving parts. Okay, on period, you would think that more people outside of Cassie and Little Rod, you know, and a bunch of Jane Doe's will be coming forward. Where are the common folk? Where are the sex workers? Why are all these people famous and in the spotlight? Where are the average everyday people like me and you that they hurt? Where are the girls from the booby trap? That's who I want to hear from. I think I'm going to call down there to the booby trap and see if there's any um, validity to Little Rod's story. You know, I, I think there would be, in, you know, in this era, I think there that, that someone like, you know, me and you speaking out would carry, a, a you know, more weight than you know the little rods okay because they have underlying um reasons for you know speaking out they're they're they they you know they are motivated to speak out because of the you know possibility of you know getting rich he gave Cassie $30 million in less than 24 hours. So, of course, the girls are lining up. Okay. You know, maybe, you know, the people down at the booby trap have not um, seen, you know, Blackburn's ad. Okay. Maybe I need to just call down there and share with the sex workers down at the booby trap that Blackburn is taking cases pro bono. OK, and he's reviewing claims for free. You guys need to call Blackburn and see if you guys qualify. So that you guys can be compensated for the freak offs. For the trafficking. The and the, you know, abuse. The possible abuse, you know, Cassie said that he was beating her. He likes to beat you and. Fuck you at the same time. Is that what that were? It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Like this video. Like this video. Like this video right now. Remember to support the show. We're trying to hit our quotas. The links are in the chat. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Mr. Jones had no desire to visit the booby trap. Okay. Because, you know, it gives that. Mr. Jones don't like boobs. He don't like boobs, okay? It, it's, tell the truth, shame the devil. He don't like boobs, okay? He wanted Cuba's fingers in his hole. He wanted Cuba's fingers in his hole. Let's talk about it. Ain't nobody slipping their fucking fingers in my hole, bitch. Nobody's just reaching down into my pen. You didn't have on no belt. Okay? After the first day, I, I you know what I'm saying? You didn't. The next day, I would have had on a fucking belt. You too scared to say no, like, like I said, ain't nobody just sticking their fingers up in my ass. Let's, let's talk about it. Reach down and, and just, just in your ass, like, Lord, that, that, that don't, like I said, the hole must be gaping because, girl, Mr. Jones had no desire to solicit sex workers from the booby trap on the river. Mr. Combs used his power and influence to intimidate and force Mr. Jones into soliciting sex workers from the booby trap on the river. As detailed below, Mr. Combs used many tactics to maintain dominion and control of Mr. Jones. Apparently, these workers were accustomed to servicing Mr. Jones and would know that he was in town by the sight of the bad boys baseball cap. What are your thoughts? Y'all let me know it in the chat. Y'all let me know it, on, know it in the chat. They were all wearing gray sweats. My, my, my. Did he make them wear gray, gray sweats at a slaver camp? Is that what they were? Um, a SW will get arrested before they listen to what happened to them. My, my, my. 
My, a sex worker will get arrested before they listen. You know, yeah, you know, they don't really, you know, listen to sex workers like that. You are right. You are right. Okay. You know, sex workers are not considered credible in every situation. You are right. So that's probably why they're not coming forward. But, you know, Blackburn seems to have a thing for, you know, the sex workers and, and, and getting the money. Um, you know, Cassie was a sex worker. Let's talk about it. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Okay, on period. She she was underpaid, but she, she was just having sex nonetheless. Okay, on period. But she was having sex nonetheless. She came back for everything that she owed her, and she got it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Ta Cassie wasn't nothing but a high paid, underpaid, high paid, low paid, high class, no class motherfucker sex worker win who became disgruntled. After years of non-payment, yes, it did. She was already pissed, okay? In a new relationship with Diddy's trainer. Fixing to lose her house. Yeah, they were going into foreclosure during the loss. When she filed that complaint, Cassie was fixing to lose her house. Go look it up. Go look it up when. Go look it up. Complicit, too. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yeah, he could have flown through kids overseas, friend. Friend. They all did it for money and fame. They just didn't know how much they would have to go through to get there. Very sad. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Okay? Shout out to Memphis, Tennessee in the motherfucking building. I know that's right. I know that's right. Okay, why didn't did he have his own big kind of period? Shout out to Tori Jackson Patino. Thank you for it. I look forward to uh, 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 receiving your donation. Hey, Emma. Thank you, friend. I love you, friend. Thank you for your donation. Okay, on period. Shout out to everybody donating tonight. When? Okay, on period. We're getting ready to cross the two hour threshold, which means we're in overtime. We're in overtime. We're in okay, on period. Hop out of the bushes and support the show. Okay, on period. Support, support, support. Keep us here. Keep us here. We're in OK on period. Uh, 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 I need to get through the show. I need to get through the show. We got about an hour. OK, probably a little bit less than an hour left of content. OK on period. You guys remember to support. OK on period. We can't do it without your support. Oh, back to the situation. Because, girl. Little Rod claims that he was intimidated into recruiting the workers and participating in the freak offs he even provided pictures and phone numbers of the alleged workers he recruited and the numbers were redacted um in the lawsuit otherwise i would call them hoes and, and figure out what that were in okay, him period and that's just what that were <laughs> what that were otherwise i will call them and figure out what that were the numbers were redacted from the lawsuits. Okay, so I, I, I don't know um, who these sex workers are. Okay, I'm peering in. But I'm going to call down to the booby trap nonetheless and see if I can get any information. Mr. Jones had no desire to solicit and, and or have sex with the individuals in the previous paragraph. Mr. Combs used his power and influence to intimidate and force Mr. Jones into soliciting and sleeping with these women. The following is the phone number of another sex worker that Mr. Combs required Mr. Jones to solicit and perform sex acts with at his home in Miami, Florida. Mr. Jones had no desire to solicit and or have sex with the individual in the previous paragraph. Mr. Combs used his power and influence to intimidate and force Mr. Jones into soliciting and sleeping with the individuals above woman. Okay, on period. He's saying that did he pimped him out and forced him to sleep with women. Okay, on period. <laughs> you know they mad. You know they mad. Okay, on period. Because clearly, Little Rod is a member of the LGBTQY community. Um, QIAY community. Yes, it did. And, you know, uh, he feels some type of way about uh, being forced to experience the... the, the, the That wet, wet. 
Okay, on period. It forced him, okay, to, to, to take, take a deep dive into the snaggle. Yes, it did. You know, he mad about it. He mad. He said he wants some money. He said, I need $30 million, okay, on period, because I didn't want no pussy. I don't want no pussy. Did he make me like the pussy? Did he make me get the oh, 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 swim in some pussy? And I don't like it. Okay, and I need to be compensated with. Okay, I need to be compensated for having to my fucking uh, 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 stick my dick in some pussy. I don't like pussy. Did he make me do it? Shit. He said, Mister Combs used many tactics to maintain dominion. Okay, and control over Mister Jones. Okay. He promised him a Grammy for producer of the year for the love album. He offered him $250,000 to purchase all the instruments he wanted. He promised him ownership of his $20 million property in on Star Island in Miami, Florida. He promised access to record label executives like defendant Lucian Charles Grange in Ethiopia, Habermarian, okay? Mr. Combs would often switch up his approach. He would go from promising Mr. Jones the world to threatening Mr. Jones with physical harm. Mr. Jones threatened to eat Mr. Jones's face. Um, Mr. Combs threatened to eat Mr. Jones's face and inform Mr. Jones that he is willing to kill his own mother, Janice Combs, if he must, in order to get what he wants. So he wouldn't think twice to harm Mr. Jones. So. Mr. Jones is saying that Diddy um, let him know that he is willing to harm his mother, okay, okay, uh, to get what he wants, uh, you know. Um, he's willing to do whatever it takes to get the dookie snatch and this scared the, 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 the shit out of Little Rod, literally, literally. <clears throat> okay. Literally, my my my. Y'all like this video? Like this video? Like this video right now? We're in overtime. Remember to support. While we're in overtime, we're gonna ask everybody to hop out of the bushes and send just five dollars for this amazing show. Five dollars to keep the show going. We're in okay on period. We got a few more receipts to go over. When don't official king pain always bring out the receipts. We're in okay on period. You guys make sure that you guys are supporting the show. Okay, and remember that we cannot do it without your support okay we cannot do it without your support lord lord i missed this one okay on period i missed this one okay on period combs girlfriend is posting double receipts okay on period my 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 so next on the docket, okay, on period, we have the Combs family outside, okay, and we have I'll be sure speaking out, okay, I'll be sure alleging that he has a new documentary coming up, okay, and he's alleging that Diddy tried to unalive him. That's what the docu series is about. That's what the docu series is about i got all the receipts i got all the receipts okay yes we cannot do it without y'all support we ask everybody to send just five dollars to support the show we're in overtime we are in overtime lord i'm getting more and more receipts see i got these i got this lawsuit i got the 98 page lawsuit Okay, on period. Um, the lawsuit um I don't have right now, but I can get I can get any of these lawsuits. But if you want to send me lawsuits, since I see you busy, okay, since I see you busy, friend, send me that uh Cassie Diddy lawsuit again. Do you have that one? Because that one was moved. I don't think I have it saved. Did I have it saved? If you got the Cassie Diddy lawsuit, I would like to have that one. Okay, on period, because I believe that was removed, but yeah. Yeah, y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. It's up in the stuck here in the home of the situation. Official King Payne got all the receipts. Though I was away for a few days, I, I, I kept up with the content so that I can bring you guys the uh, information. Okay? Yes, it is. 
You see, and I would have been up early, okay, as you guys see that I was up early, I was scheduling, I was, I was doing all the stuff, but I wanted to make sure and all that was done, okay, on period, because it's it's a lot, okay, on period, and, you know, I was up early, but I was tired, I was tired, okay, on period, I've been exhausted traveling and taking on all of this business win, okay, on period, um, but everything is happening, everything is happening, God is making it all happen, yes, it is, and I'll tell you guys more about it doing our members only live directly after the show i'll see you guys all on the receipt book directly after the show okay on period as we have a dragging going on okay on period a rose drag and a gag okay on period and i'll explain the difference okay over on the receipt book directly after the show i'll see you guys all there okay on period but before that let's get into i'll be sure okay and his statement at the ben crump award okay alleging that did it Okay, tried to unalive him. Okay, and Diddy is the reason that he was in a coma for all of that time. My, 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 official man got all the receipts win. Okay, exclusive. Okay, to the home of the situation. You wouldn't know unless you was at the Ben Crump Awards. Whenever you get through. My, my, my. My, my, my. So, um, here is a leak from the Ben Crump Awards. Okay, I'll be sure speaking out when you guys better know that anytime you come over here to the official campaign show, you're going to get some exclusive content. Here is an exclusive leak from the Ben Crump Awards. I'll be sure speaking out. Let's go. Five surgeries. Oh. The first hospital that I was rushed to, and Big Brother made mention of it. Oh. They decided to. There was nothing they could do for me. They were going to send me to hospice. And, um, yes, the casting lost your friend. That one. Do you have that one? The health equity and I would love if you had that one. Coalition. COVID I don't think nobody got it. So grateful for them calling the facility and saying, oh, hell So for the girls in the back, um, he's alleging that, you know, it was because of, you know, Ben Crump and some of his friends when he was on his deathbed and, you know, the, the doctors were presuming that he was going to die. Um, it was because of his friends who called that hospital or, you know, the respite or wherever he was and told them that, oh, hell no, that's I'll be sure he's one of the greats. You guys got to help him. You guys, he's got to make it. He, he, It's not his time to go. And, you know, he was just getting done saying that he was grateful for them for, you know, reaching out and, and seeing that he was taken care of properly during um you know the time he was in a coma because according to him it was intentional did he try to kill him listen to this well not sending him to the pasture so i'm truly grateful that's right they said he's from mount Vernon. you better not send him man with us if he wakes up i know that's right and that's the fact I don't want to be too long-winded, but I don't want to make sure that. So, for those of you, I don't see much people, many people who are old enough to know um, how to share. It's so good to see you. Blessings to you and your family. Girl, Cher was there with Amber Rose, uh, uh, ex. Girl, uh, girl, it's so much tea. It's so much tea to happen at the Ben Crump Awards again. Uh, Christian Combs was not allowed uh, uh, to attend the awards. Okay, up here, but it didn't stop him from turning up for his birthday party. All the receipts and more coming up. Stay tuned. Everyone here um, and George Clinton, and all the other reasons. Uncle George, I love Judge Mathis. So my name is Al B. Shore. I am the executive chairman of the Health Equity and Transplantation Coalition, where we stand firm in the gap for the culture demanding equity and inclusion and equal access to health care for us all. 
First and foremost, I am overwhelmed with gratitude to be here tonight at the 2024 Equal Justice Now Awards. Can we get a hand for that? I'm also honored to call attorney Benjamin L. Crump and Mr. Jared Person. He's the Chief Strategy Officer at Ben Crump Law. I'm proud to call them my business partner in health equity. In addition to, now I know we used to see Ben Crump on the front lines and at, at the, uh, the beck and call of the, the mothers and fathers of the slain young people by law enforcement. Um, but for some reason, Big Brother has also reached across the aisle um, for royalty recovery and restoration. It's called Legacy Artist Advocates Fighting for Unpaid Royalties and Billions of Dollars. Yes. Also, thank you to uh, for all the civil matters and, uh, that we're facing very, very specifically for the underserved and disenfranchised communities. Also, a big thank you to Attorney Brooke Clues. We appreciate you always explaining yourself and taking care of everybody at uh, Denver Cup Law. Um, not just a lawyer. Thanks, Sue. Hey, Sue. Sue. <laughs> exactly. You know who Sue is. Um, always doing dynamic stuff. Um, attorney Ann Andrews, Dorothy Cabello, and the team at Andrews, Dorothy, and Newport Beach. So appreciate you. You're doing great work. And I don't know if I'm allowed to say but yeah. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in history, the artist I'll be sure. Oh, oh, we got more exclusive content over here, fam, because I'm pretty sure that don't nobody got this. Oh, oh. I'm pretty sure that don't nobody got this. We're gonna have to go over this when we got Cassie's lawsuit. Wait, 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 wait. Did somebody have this? No, I think it was removed. My 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 girl. I'm gonna have to go through this to see if I had it already. Okay, on period. Let me not jump out the window. Let me not jump out the window because I don't remember. I don't remember when, if anybody had access to it when, but we got it. We got it. Yes. Yeah, so everything exclusive over here. Everything is exclusive. <laughs> like this video right here. Um, back to this video win. Okay, I'm period. Now, what did he do to you, Al? I'll be sure. Owns all of his masters. <laughs> And and I you know I applaud Ben and his team and um, Attorney Rob Seco for all the you know and, 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 uh, Andrews and Jordan. I mean just understanding what this is about. I learned something from a gentleman by the name of Dick Griffey many many years ago. If you know Dick, and he had something called slave ship to ownership that he talked to me years ago, including my labor payment. Gentleman by the name of Prince, and every day he was how do you gotta own your intellectual property? And I was like, what's intellectual property? Mm -hmm. you know? um, also, I need to uh, my H E I T C that's the Health Equity and Transplantation Coalition, the co-founder, the equity partner, and global communication strategist, and active LLC, who amplifies everything that you see, Reverend Sharpton, all over the world, MSNBC, clients like Amazon. DoorDash and Uber, um, my partner there at the, at the coalition, Rachel, I truly appreciate the work you do globally. globally. Um, and also, I want to say thank you to um, my, the executive producer and the CEO of Megamind Media, because finally, now I know you see me all over the internet, Sometimes for the great reason, and then sometimes I gotta share it with the nonsense that goes on in the industry. But finally, you're going to be producing the Albi Shore Life Story. All right. Yeah. 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 So hold on to your 
hold on to your britches. Oh. And you'll really understand how I ended up in a coma. Mm. Oh. Oh. You're really going to need to call Homeland Security. Oh. 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 You know, Fisher King Pan got all the receipts. You know, Fish King Pan got all the receipts. He said, make sure that you check out or, 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 the documentary or, or, coming out soon. Did he try to underlive me? Did he or, 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 did it? Okay, did he try to kill me with? Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to uh, uh, give him uh, good suggestions for uh, uh, his title. Okay, on period. Did he always been jealous? Uh, 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 did he uh, 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 tried to diddle me? Uh, Y'all help me. Help me, help me, please. Help me in the chat. Abby Shaw is coming forward with a documentary, okay, about, um, you know, him, you know, being in a coma and Diddy possibly trying to unalive him. Um, what are your thoughts? You guys let me know in the chat. Let me know in the chat. It's a lot of shit going on here in the home of the situation. Leave it. To the official campaign to bring some clarity to a dusty situation. Oh, why did that happen? Let me edit that. And oh, I'm over here multitasking, y'all. Give me one second. Give me one second. Only the king. Only the king. Okay. Got all this stuff going on. Yes, it did. Like this video. Like this video. Like this video. Remember to support. Okay, I'm here. We're in overtime right now. So. Doing this overtime hour because anytime we go over two hours, okay, I'm here. It's been a time, okay. I'm here. We ask everybody to support by sending five dollars. How about everybody just send five dollars as we have more content to go over and we want to get through the whole show. Period. Fish campaign took the time to put the show together. When okay, on period, we want the whole show. Okay, on period. Yeah, send five dollars for the whole show. Okay, not not some of the show, not some of the crown family, but all of the crown. <laughs> the girls that know, they know. The girls that know, they know when. Okay, on period. We want all of the crown family support. And by hopping out of the bushes and sending five dollars, and if you don't got it, it's okay. Support right now by liking this video. Support right now by sharing this video. Support right now by commenting on this video. Support right now by jumping in the group chat. There are many ways to support for free. Support right now by interacting in the chat. Okay, this is the interactive segment of your day. So I wanna see you guys all interacting. I wanna see this chat moving fast because we are a family. Okay, on period, not like them combs in them. Okay, not like them combs and them lock all the combs up, throw the combs away. Okay, on period, them some dirty, nasty, used up combs. Okay, on period, with a loose bussies. Okay, on period, at least a uh, 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 little ride bussy is very loose. Okay, on period, he said the fingers was just sliding up in his ass. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all help me. Help me, please, in the chat. We in by supporting this damn video because it's up and it's stuck in a home situation. And we got a lot of shit to get into. Okay, the final topic of the day. Okay, on period. Diddy! All smiles amid um looming lawsuits, raids, uh, and more. Okay. Federal investigation and probes. Let's talk about it, okay? X is speaking out, okay? Um, parents of the uh, uh, adopted kids are speaking out because all them kids not did this, okay? I'm period. And the girls are still looking for Ava Baroni. My people, my detectives have been on it for weeks, okay? I'm period. We've been actually for a while uh, conducting an investigation on Ava Baroni. We have the background check and more, okay? I'm period. Last time Ava Baroni was heard from was. Uh, at the same time, wait, it was the same time. Um, oh, ooh, ooh. it was the same time. Little Rod was is about like the same time where Little Rod was being sexually abused. Okay, around the uh, time the Love album and all that stuff was being created. Okay, oh no, it was the same time Mr. G came up missing. 
Ava Baroni, okay, Ava Baroni Combs, Diddy's child, uh, adopted child, came up missing the same time that Mr. G came up missing. And I got the receipts. I got the receipts when, okay, on period. Um, chances are they're going to find Gr uh, Ava and Mr. G down there in that grotto, okay? G stands for grotto, okay, on period. I, I have a strong inclination that the, uh, the kids, okay, is down there in the grotto. Okay, they down there in the grotto. Okay, up here they got an underground tunnel in their house. How many of y'all got underground tunnels in your house? Let me know it in the chat. How many of y'all got grottos in your home? Y'all let me know it in the chat. I got a, a, a strong inclination they gonna find them kids. Okay, down there underneath the grotto. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about it. Okay, Cassie knows where the bodies are hidden, and Cassie is working with the feds. Okay, to lead. Okay, the, the the authorities to the or, or, or the bodies of the or, or the kids. Somebody said, "What about the children?" Yes, yeah, stay focused. Stay focused on the kids. Okay, on period. Stay focused on the kids. Okay, on period. Because did he not worry about them damn kids? Did he say, "Fuck them kids"? Okay, amid his home being raided. Okay, did he is all smiles? Okay, but uh, uh, you got Misa speaking out. You got uh, Justin and hiding. You got. Christian being rejected from the Ben Crump Awards. And you know, Big Crump is a, a big thing, you know? You know, Big Crump is a big news, okay, on period. Like, I was supposed to go, but, you know, I was here with y'all, okay? Crown family bigger than me than Ben Crump or anybody else, okay, on period. Outside of the Lord and my family win, okay, on period. Crown family is up there, okay, on period. And, or, or, or there wasn't that the, the Ben Crump Award for me, so I decided to stay home. Okay, I've been doing that a lot lately. I said, girl, crown family uh, uh, need me. Okay, and I need them. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of crown family. It is God's will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. Okay, that's why I've been staying inside. Okay, on period. That's why I stay inside. Okay, on period. Ain't no party. Okay, ain't no festival. Ain't no a gathering. Okay, too great. Okay, uh, 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 too big. Okay, that the Fish King Pain need to miss out. Okay, on, on our family arrangements. Okay, on period. We, we supposed to be live every day, chilling. Okay, turned up when? Okay, on period. So, girl, I was like, girl, no, nah, being cramp who? Being cramp what? Girl, please, Ben Crump, don't pay none of these bills. Okay, I'm period. Last time I reached out to Ben Crump, okay, he had me waiting. Okay, I'm period. I want him to help my my then friend. Okay, I'm period. Thank God. Thank God he didn't respond. Okay, for a while. Okay, by the time he would respond, girl, it would be too late. Okay, I'm period. <laughs> I did get a t a, the opportunity to talk to Ben Crump, by the way. Okay, and like I said, by the time he would respond, it would be too late. But, you know, he wasn't going to help no way. Okay, he said, oh, that ain't my type of uh, uh case. <laughs> I don't deal with crisis. Yes, Y'all like this video, like this video, like this video right now. It's up and it's stuck here in a home other situation. You guys remember to support the show. Support the show. Support the show. Diddy is outside with his friend Stevie J and others win. And he's having a, the time of his life. He's all smiles. All smiles. All smiles. Listen to this. Listen to this. Okay, I'm period. This one of his friends. What he said. He said, Diddy and him turn it up. What? He had his house win. He said, Diddy's house is currently being raided. So uh, Diddy and the kids are, are turning up at his house. What that word? Beat up by my pad. Turn into the man right here. Uh, what's up? Not the man. Miami's like that. The it's man in Miami is I'm down here at, at Pira Vita by my pad. Ooh. Turn into the man right here. Uh, what's up? Miami's like that. Yeah. It's a movie. My, my, my. My, 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 let's see what the people are saying. Miami is having a freak off tonight. Oh, looks like Stevie J and uh, 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 Diddy are uh, 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 fixing to have a freak off tonight. Somebody said, Stevie said, I'm going to stick beside my man. Oh, not my man, my man, my man. Somebody said, Loki, I'm glad he is facing his demons head on and being strong for his children. His smile is better than that suicidal look. Being gay isn't the problem. It's the allegations of force and abuse that are alarming. And uh, oh yeah, we all know that Diddy was gay. Okay, on period, you, you know. Um, and some of us just wish that you know he was just gay. You know, all this other stuff. You know, ain't seeing. It's a lot the sex trafficking and things. You know, uh, for years we all thought you know he was hiding his homosexuality. 
who knew that he was also uh, 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 keeping this whole sex trafficking and sex rink and these freak offs from, from the world, okay, on period. Ooh. Oh, it's a lot of shit going on. Leave it to the official campaign uh, to bring some clarity to a dusty situation. So, as you guys can see, Diddy is all smiles when, okay, and Christian is all smiles too. Okay, I'm here all smiles amid the looming lawsuit alleging that King Christian, Christian King Combs, motherfucking is just as dirty and nasty and salacious as his father. Okay, King. Okay, he was out getting his freak on uh, this past weekend as it was his birthday. He was at PH um, here in um, Los Angeles. And um, when I tell you his party was lit, it was lit. Okay, I know a lot of people who were there. I was not. Okay, part of the reason I was not at his birthday and I was not at the Ben Crump Awards because it was on the same weekend as Jesus uh, uh, resurrection. Yes, it did. And, and the, the Lord said that I was, I need to go and be with my family. So that's what I did. Okay. Yes, it did. All smiles on his 26th birthday. My, my, my. Somebody said, who cares about a raid? King Combs enjoyed his birthday on Monday night partying and enjoying his 26th birthday with the Cali Plug group. My, my, my. In a video uploaded to Instagram, King Combs is iced out and shares videos from inside the party with the lady in his lap, according to page six. The party also included a club performance. Fisher King Payne got all the receipts. Look at this. Everything being shown to you guys during this video is being shown to you guys underneath the fair use and copyright doctrine. It's my motherfucking OPM. Make some receipts. Take it out if you want to take it. Just don't be weird. And support this video already. Let's go. <laughs> No, it did it. What day is it, my brother? It's that time when I say it is, shit. I What are your thoughts? Let me know in the chat. My, my, my. Outside. No, it did it. What day is it, my brother? It's that time when I say it. My, my, my. My, my, my. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the chat. Drone video. Drone video that has made its rounds online appears to show Diddy's sons, Christian and Justin in handcuffs out front of the lavish hold, holy Hills address amid the simultaneous raids on Diddy's homes by Homeland Security for the alleged sex trafficking charge. Okay, law enforcement could be seen walking through his property on Monday with guns drawn, guns drawn, as several people were spotted on the line, including Diddy's sons, 30-year-old Justin Combs and 25-year-old Christian King Combs. And you know, this led a lot of people to speculate. You know, where the fuck is? Quincy, where is Quincy? Where is little girl Quincy? When okay, on period, Quincy was outside making it up. Okay, on period, making it up. Okay, on period. Um, but a lot of people think that it's strange that you know Quincy, um, just happened to not be at the house. Okay, uh, 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 uh privy to the raves. My, my, my. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Y'all let me know in the chat. Y'all think Quincy got something to do with this mess? I think Quincy should have been uh, uh, detained as well. You think Quincy hold the, the keys to the puzzle? Y'all let me know in the chat. Y'all think the kids are involved? Okay. I say throw the whole family away. I think that, you know, if there is a sex rink and sex trafficking and, you know, there were busloads of kids. Now, this is going off of the neighbor's testimony. If the neighbors know, if the neighbors seen it, there's no way these kids living in the home did not see the bus loads of kids pulling up at 3 a.m. What about the children? Where are the ch kids that, that were in the grotto? Okay, on period. Over 30 law enforcement vehicles could be seen from an aerial view with heavily armed agents on the ground in a helicopter which could helicopter which could be heard overhead. Diddy, aka Sean Combs, is currently under investigation by federal authority authorities for alleged sex trafficking. 
So is he under investigation? Is he not, girl? According to page six, he is. But, you know, um, page six isn't like one of those sources that can be heavily um, relied upon. Oh, my, my, my. My sources say uh, Quincy already took a deal. My, my, my. And Quincy is working with the feds as well. Lord! What are your thoughts? Y'all let me know in chat. Y'all think Quincy is working with the feds as well? Y'all think Quincy took some sort of deal? That's how he knew not to be at the damn house when he on here. Quincy, in an attempt to protect his sisters, you know, he always alleged that he's protecting his sisters, you know, took a deal. You know, maybe he believes that Diddy unalive his mother as well. Okay? The same way that you know, he tried to unalive his father. I'll be sure, you know, maybe, you know, just maybe, you know, Quincy believes that, you know, Diddy is responsible and he is working with the feds to bring justice to his mother. Y'all let me know in the chat. Y'all let me know in the chat. What are your thoughts? Y'all please remember to support the show. We're asking everybody to send $5, just $5, as this show is in overtime right now, as we have passed the two-hour threshold, and we are late to our next show. We are late to our next show. We always late. I'm always late messing with y'all. I'm always late messing with y'all. Next, we'll be on the backup channel, okay, on period. Let me let me tell you what we're talking about when you guys all make sure that you guys are following on the backup channel. We have another installment of Jaguar Right at Large. Jackie is back in Dallas for court. Okay, on period. Jackie and Tokyo Tony, Tokyo Tony, okay, um, are fake as fuck. Okay, on period. Um, apparently they made up, okay, on period. Jackie came and said that, you know. Them making up didn't have anything to do with me or my friend Sean. Like, they didn't talk about us at all. We ain't okay on period. Mind you, I went and back and I looked at the footage. The whole combo was about me and my friend Sean Debbie Way. You guys all make sure that you guys are checking out my friend Sean Debbie Way's show right here on YouTube when you guys get a chance. Um, And, you know, Tokyo so fake. You know, Jackie was talking all over her. She didn't even get a chance to, like, really just tell the truth. Okay, because uh, I believe that she was going to tell Jackie, like, hey, that's not really, like, what that were. Um, but go off because I don't like the nefarious fairy boys anyway. So, you know, that's part of the reason I feel like she allowed the, the lies and the narrative. Because um, she was trying to kind of, you know, catch Jackie um, before she, she went too far. But at, at some point she was like, girl, just go off. And she was just letting her speak because, you know. Ain't no arguing with no crazy person, okay? And I thought she was supposed to be in Vegas or, or Dallas with Jackie. That she bought a ticket. Yeah, the girls stay lying for clicks and views, okay, on beer. But the fish campaign stay coming with the receipts. Shout out to everybody here. Shout out to everybody watching. We in okay on beer. This up and stuck here in the home of the situation, okay, on beer. If you guys are supporting the show, you got five on it. You got five on it. That the official King Pain broke ass. Can keep. Hop out of the bushes. Let me see those trophies. Let me see those trophies win. Okay, on period. Yes, yeah, two unfits. Two unfits. Let me see those trophies. Make sure that you guys are supporting the show. What's up and it's stuck here in the home of the lituation. Oh, old on official King Pain got all the receipts. All the receipts. Okay, on period. So, uh, uh, uh. King was over there getting his freak on too. Okay, on period. King, after the event, when King went back to the house to get his freak on, when okay, on period, leaked video from his girl. Let me show you. Let me show you. This is what they was doing after the uh after the party. This is what they after the party. It's the hotel lobby. After the lobby, yeah, all of that. Okay, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, freaky like your daddy this ain't the time this ain't the time this ain't the time with all that's going on with your daddy you think that this nasty shit is appropriate oh. well she needs to go get tested she don't get tested you know you can pass the jc herpes through a motherfucking kiss okay <laughs> you know you can pass some jc herpes from, you know they saying that jay-z is the next one Okay, on the chopping block, when y'all let me know, y'all let me y'all think Jay Z uh, uh is as nasty and, and salacious and or oh, heinous 
or you know, you you think that he has as a, you know as many accusers and accusations as Diddy and his children? Um, y'all let me know in the chat, okay? Y'all let me know in the chat. Somebody say if my name is Bennett and I ain't in it was a person, okay? I'm period, girl. Please, you definitely in it. <laughs> Somebody said, I mean, what the fuck they supposed to do? Stop kissing because everybody else in some shit. Uh, you know, keep your sexual life okay keep your sex life off the internet especially at a time like this that's what you're supposed to do like make it make sense who you trolling what you trolling for your daddy yeah that, that must be a hell of a drug that must go on okay on period yeah wrong time okay wrong time wrong somebody said freaky like your daddy is crazy period so inappropriate right now and she doing too much okay um that's all they care about is the freaky, them freaky demons, okay, on period. All they care about is catering to them sex spirits, okay? Them freaky spirits, okay, on period. Y'all, they, they over there battling demons, okay, on period. Battling sex demons when, okay, on period. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, they don't care. They don't care. Diddy about to go to jail for life, okay, on period. And he, here he is getting tongue down. He over here getting tongue down. Okay, on period. Freaky like his daddy went. Okay, on period. Oh, you ask me, uh, uh, King Kong's gonna be the next one. Okay, facing uh, uh, trafficking uh, uh, charges. Okay, on period. The way that he moving. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. You guys remember to like this video, like this video. Okay, and support. It's up and stuck here in the home of the situation. Okay. Um, as we round out this live, I want you guys all to remember to support. Okay. Um, we asked everybody to send five dollars because y'all know the show was lit and y'all know the show was lit. Okay, on period. Somebody said, Bro, your daddy finna go to jail, jail, and you on here haunching. Call, call your diddy. Okay, call your diddy. Okay, please call your diddy. Okay, on period. Oh, oh, I know, friend. I know. My, my, my. I know. That's what I heard. So they said, Jay-Z got a big ass dick. I heard, friend. I heard. Yeah, that's what I heard. Um, They said, I don't think he's doing nothing with men, but he's ruthless in other ways. For real. For real. I heard. I did hear. You know, that's part of the reason why Solange attacked him in that elevator. A lot of you guys may not know, but Jay-Z has been cheating on Beyonce for a very long time now. Nah. Oh, and Fisher King Bank got the receipts, but you know, that's another day, another show. Mm, another day, another show. Okay, on period. Y'all y'all remember to support this show. Okay, on period. Yeah, it's the links are in the chat. The links are in the chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, my, my. I'm going to say it's their arrogance that got them in this mess now. Okay, on period. You know, they said hard head, make a soft ass. My, my, my. They try too hard to act unbothered. Okay, try too hard to act unbothered and try too hard to be hard. Okay, on period. Was this the same girl that you were alleging that you were in the GDK, uh, 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 Gangster Disciples? You, you, you had started gang banging and you wanted her to know just how hard you were. Uh, is this the same girl that you were trying to prove yourself to? My, my, my. My, my, my. That is a... Yes, I don't know what's wrong with this, this new generation, why they all want to be so hard, why they all want to be gangbangers and thugs. Like, I just never get it. And then this boy was literally fed with a golden spoon, and here he is walking around, pants sagging, and acting as if he's this uh, thug. Like, it's just... boggling. You know what I'm saying? Like... You've had every opportunity to be anything in the world, but you want to be a thug. My, my, my. Now, if all the kids start posting, we can tell um, this is a distraction. My, my, my. If my dad was going through a case like this, I'll be planning my escape route. Okay. And they are. And they are. Okay, on period. That Justin already got out. Okay, on period. Ain't nobody seen Justin as Justin is somewhere hiding. Okay. Justin packed his bags and, and got gone. Justin is, according to my sources, not staying at the house right now. But, you know, let's argue. Because it's all fun and games until his daddy behind bars and there's no money. Then you won't even see none of them kids. My, my, my. My, my, my. 
so they're saying that the kids you know do these kids will have no importance they will be you know nobody will care what they're doing if diddy is in jail um is that true you guys let me know in the chat um do you guys care what happens with diddy's child with his children um or will you guys care once he is in jail we guys still follow and listen to the music and be interested in what they're doing or will it kind of just you know fade away um like so many other um artists that have gone through the the, the system you know you hardly hear a thing about Tory Lanez these days and it's been less than a year okay imagine the conversation what the conversation is going to be like surrounding Tory Lanez in 10 years my 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 my, my, my. You guys remember to support the show as we are in overtime right now. Okay, I'm people reacting. Everybody's saying just five dollars to support, support, support. Okay, he said one monkey don't stop no show. And the, <laughs> let me say, please leave his children alone. Well, these ain't kids. They're he kid. They're his kids, but they ain't kids. Okay, on period. They're old enough to do drugs and have sex and and live alone and. And, and and recruit and drug women like is, these aren't kids okay these are criminals in training okay like i said what's diddy over there what was diddy over there teaching the boys okay on period that should be the real concern was their life supposed to stop i'm so confused as to why why this matters and you know i don't like again i don't feel like the life is supposed to stop but they should at least show some kind of concern or compassion or humility or you know like your dad was literally your dad is literally being accused of operating a sex trafficking rink and here you are having fucking face sex okay face fucking okay your girlfriend online like make it make sense what My, my, my. I think so too. The uh, uh, the only people, okay, on period, the only people, only ones that's gonna make it out of this unscathed are Diddy's twin girls, Kim Porter's girls, and maybe Quincy, Kim Porter's kids. Kim Porter's kids are gonna make it out unscathed, but everyone else is going down. That Justin and that King, okay, they're going down. They're going down. They're going down. They're going down. My, my, my. Y'all like this video? Like this video? Like this video right now? It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. Somebody just sent me my own link. Why you send me my own link? What that, what that word? What that word? Bobby Light like, just wrote me what he want. Girl. Y'all like this video? Like this video? Like this video right now? It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation. Okay, on period. We got one more item before we head out. Okay, it's been a good show. I hope that you guys enjoy. Okay, y'all pushed it or y'all been y'all pushed it to the limit. Okay, on period. We're supposed to do two hours and we ended up doing about three. We ended up doing about three. Okay, on period. Yeah, support, support, support. Okay, on period. <laughs> oh, we ended up doing about three. Now, you know, although Diddy has been all smiles, okay, uh, post the raves, um, Diddy and his children seem to not be bothered by, you know, the looming allegations. Um, people are, are calling Diddy's recent allegation, uh, recent interaction with um, Justin Bieber oddly suspicious, okay? Um, and they are alleging that Diddy was checking Justin for a wire. Okay, on period. You guys, let me know what are your thoughts. Does it appear that Diddy is checking his close friends for wires? <laughs> is he playing? I ain't never seen no prayer like that. He tapping them all on his chest and... Uh, uh, like what in different areas like was he feeling for something or like what people you know is this a prayer or what is this 
What kind of prayer is this? Who ordained a Diddy? Like who gave, who taught Diddy how to pray or, or prophesy or minister over others? Like, what is this? Who? My, 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 what are your thoughts? Somebody said, no Diddy, no Diddy, no Diddy. My, 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 you know, no Diddy is supposed to be the new term for no homo. My, 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 what are your thoughts? Y'all let me know in the chat. Somebody said, and the cell phone wasn't checked. Mm -hmm. Ooh. He didn't check that hat. My, my, my. He didn't check that hat. He didn't check that cell phone. My, my, my. Uh, somebody said, no, we're not friends no more. Is that what that was? Is that what that was? I mean, for sure, certainly, if you if I feel like you need to check me for a while, we're definitely not friends, okay? And at that moment, I know it. okay? Let me say, he said, I'm bringing you down with me. Lord, somebody said, don't wear a wire, but let's film everything. Okay, like, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Ooh, somebody said this video is like three years old. Girl, la, 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 la. My, my, my. My, my, my. Well, apparently, he's known for a while then, huh? Diddy definitely ain't beating the charges, okay? <laughs> Y'all think Diddy beating the charges? Y'all think Diddy's going to be arrested? Okay. Um, you know, the feds said again that, you know, Diddy is not uh, named in their investigation, okay? Um, but, you know, apparently, you know, they just needed to raid his homes. Somebody said, this man is so strange. Regardless of why he is touching him, regardless, why is he touching him so much? Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. I mean, and, you know, it seemed normal for Justin to be touched by Diddy in such a way. Yeah, I know that Justin got some tea. I know that Justin got some tea. Okay, I'm here waiting for Justin Bieber to come forward with the tea win. Okay, on period. Oh, this was an amazing live. Okay, on period. I had a lot of fun when, okay, on period. I hope that you guys have fun, too, preparing to go to our next show. Okay, we got to head out. We got to head out, okay, on period. Our next show will be on the backup channel. Um, I don't know if um, the Crown family is having a discussion today. Um, if they are having a good discussion, right now will be a really good time, okay, as I'm about to take a lunch before my next show. So if you guys are having a discussion today, right now would be a really good time because I'm about to go on lunch. Okay, on period. And then we'll be right back on the backup channel for Jaguar Ride at Large. I hope that you guys are enjoying the day as we have a full day of content prepared for you guys. I got to watch my energy. I got to eat something before I get hangry and I don't want to do no more work. Okay, on period. Support on the way out, okay, on period. I see you guys all on the backup channel. I love you all. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys for showing up and showing out for me today. It's up and it's stuck here in the home of the situation as we continue to follow these developing stories. Until next time. Oh, I'm so glad that you got your packages. I told you they were on the way. I told you that there's more coming. There's more coming. I still got to send out the personal cards. Okay, just there, I'm still gonna. I just have to take the time to fill out the cards and send them out and thank everyone um, for uh, you know keeping their memberships and, and, and standing um, with the official king king pain. You know, sticking beside the king. Um, there are some people, um, and I'm actually kind of you know it's it's a good thing and it's you know it's like a social thing because you know some people uh, 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 I don't have to send you know, those gifts too, because they no longer have the membership. So, hi, hey, it is what it is. No, thank you. Thank you. And we're having some more giveaways soon for everyone who has been keeping their membership as we uh, are, are uh, discontinuing the promo code pretty soon here for the Lituation TV network as we move into casting for the show and we start putting out content for our reality shows. Um, I'm going to thank everyone who has been, you know, keeping their membership that supported and believed in the dream that's coming to fruition 
And we're going to have another giveaway and a party for all of those who have their memberships to the Lituation TV, the receipt book, um, the coffee, and etc. Okay, on period after the show, after my lunch, we will go live on the receipt book. Okay, on period roast drag gag. Okay, on pre show. Uh, 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 to the next show, we could probably do a pre show and an after show, okay? I'm here because I got a lot of people to roast. I got a lot of people to roast until next time. I love you all, okay? On period, shout out to everyone that supported. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let me go and down the list for somebody you mad, okay? On period, I got oh, a few more minutes, okay? Let me go down this list, okay? On period, for somebody give me in for she can pay, don't never think it's audience. Hey, Lindsay. They- and that's just what that word. Come on. Hey. I know that's right. What that word. Shout out to Tamara. Thank you, Brian. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Chandra. Thank you, Chandra. I know that's right. Oh, Lacey. Oh, oh, oh. Jelly. Thank you, Jelly. I know that's right. Tori. Thank you, Tori. Roxanne. Oh, thank you, Roxanne. Oh, Melinda. I miss you too, man. Lady Blue. She said, keep giving God all the glory and stay amazing. Thank you, friend. Yes, God deserves all the glory. God deserves all the honor. God did this. So, can we were here. Yes, it did. Oh, shout out to Alicia. Thank you for you. You guys are amazing. Amazing. <laughs> headed out, headed out. Okay, I'm here. I gotta get this food. We I gotta put some in stomach, put some in my belly, so we can get to the next show. Okay, on here, yeah, we can get to the next show, 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 show. Talk to Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. You are amazing, or Queena. Thank you, Queena. Okay, on period. And I believe that's everyone. Okay, on period. Y'all, you said somebody said, Official King Payne, don't shout out his supporters. We ain't grow every chance I get. Every chance I get. Until next time, I love you all with the love of Jesus. And I hope to see you guys all on the next show on the backup channel. Okay, on period. Until next time, adios and talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>